says football season's in full swing, <laughs> Daddy. Woo. Are you playing to win? Maybe you're headed out to Vegas this weekend. Plan on making things more interesting while you're there. Here's the deal. Before you hop on a plane, make sure to check out BetDSI.com. BetDSI.com has been around since 1998 and is an A-plus rated sports book and originates many of the odds you see for a lot of the sports and events happening here in the good old USA. BetDSI.com offers odds on all major sports with a focus on the NFL, but also everything else that's happening. See that, right? This is what I like about BetDSI. We're talking the presidential election. We're talking what's happening in reality TV. The Oscars, celebrity happenings. If there's something going on in the world, BetDSI.com has experts building the odds. Before you place a bet, check out BetDSI.com. They set the odds, and if you want to win, then check them out. It's a fun place to play, and BetDSI has built a solid reputation on winning from both novices and professionals. It's BetDSI.com. That's B-E-T-D-S-I.com. And it's available on all desktop and mobile platforms, easy to use, fun to play, or even just to explore. And if you want to try it out, just enter promo co code COMPOUND10 and get yourself some free credits for yourself just for registering. That's BETDSI.com. Use promo code COMPOUND10. Don't forget to use promo code COMPOUND10 for your free credits. BETDSI.com. We're bet DSI and we're dot com. <laughs>oh my god this is now gone into complete maud my hair is now maud i gotta get to john's the hog this is fucking outrageous yeah it is like a two-toned it is it's two-toned <laughs> it's Polly walnuts and a schwarze i don't know what's going on. hey look who's here by the way is when maud when you said maud it's weird how when you think commie i'm just trying to think Who's been shot in the head that sounds like Maud that I, <laughs> that I could wish was you? But I couldn't think of any good murder victims. Ah, shit. <laughs> Look at who's here. The old gang. That's right. Hey. Of course, uh, Jimmy Norton, Sam Roberts, and uh, please, yeah. Travis Teft. Yes, as per uh, the orders. The, the big the... star. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I made of, sure that that happened. The whole <laughs> thing. Uh, Travis, your name is just taken off now. Yeah. Tefting off. Yeah. It's tefting off. Yes. I'm trying to embrace exactly. it. Now yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. He's he hates the first it, right? I'm the one that's in there. Yeah. No. Hey, guys, it. you hear about my name? <laughs> yeah. He's been a behind-the-scenes guy for so long. As behind-the-scenes as he could have been on, well, the, on I should be. that show. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm you like, know, you're front and center. <laughs> he's been behind the scenes so long. Like, he's a big star now. He's, yeah, now he's, he's, he's a big star. coming out. Finally came out from behind the curtain. Yeah. Now everybody's making photos. It's yeah. Final yes, time. yeah, you're a, a meme. It's like a Judy Bloom novel. Are you there, Teft? It's me, Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> People hate the Teft jokes, too, some of them. I don't doubt it. Yeah. I'm, I'm They're not, not a huge wrong. fan of, of yeah, them. I don't blame you. They're <laughs> you're not. very reminiscent of Chip. They're terrible, yeah. As a matter of fact, they're <laughs> yeah. that bad. Very they're terrible. Punny. A lot of punny things And going they just on don't there. stop. There's so no, they don't endless. stop. It's, it's just been it's fucking been god weeks. awful. I can't stop looking at Sam's wallet. This is a fucking. Oh, God. That's like a child's wallet. I know. Never has Let's a man who made so little carried so much. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you hear this. Yeah. This wallet is from a company called J. Peterman. Whoa! Wait, wait, wait. No, I wish it was Scott Peterson. <laughs> <laughs> Peterman. Peterman. I know, I know. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> and the inside is signed by John O. Hurley. Why would John O. Hurley sign Peterman's wallet? Well, you see, Anthony... It but. should be signed by Cosmo Kramer, <laughs> who sold all of his stories. That's the real Peter. Man. Yeah, that's the real Peter. All right. Well, we didn't go too in depth with the. <laughs> of I've course, you didn't. You got hard candy here in there? And there. I don't. Yeah. The uh, stars. Wallet, right? The right. stars yeah. of the. Uh, what is it called? The Jim. <laughs> Jim. 
Jim Norton and Sam Roberts. Yeah. Right. Jim Norton and Sam Roberts. <laughs> I like the, the last names are in there and yeah. everything. Because Jim and Sam sounded too like fucking 80s zoo. It's Jim, Jim and, Sam. and Sam in the morning. Right. Yeah. With yeah. Travis. They show him popping up. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, just the floating head in the advertisements. <laughs> oh, I hate the floating head. Yeah, I do too. So if, I'm, I'm actually going to tweet this. Oh, yes. Saying. Tweet it. Tweet that okay. we are doing this. Right now, but it's see, so it's it's Jim Norton and Sam Roberts, but that's a lot for social media. So it's just right. at Jim and Sam show. Jim and Sam show. But that's like you know, like the name of the show is Jim Norton and Sam Roberts. Yeah. But if you know it, you're just like, yeah, I'm listening to Jim and Sam. Jim and Sam. You know, because because <laughs> you listen. You know, you're right, right. You're you're a P one. You know, what are you listening to this morning? Jim and Sam. Who? Oh, it's Jim Norton and Sam Roberts. Oh it's yeah, the, yeah, Jim and show. Sam. It's the morning show. You yeah. know. How many fucking ats and hashtags have there been with this iteration of fucking <laughs> Owen A, Opie and Anthony, Opie, Opie and Jim, yeah. Opie with Jim, oh, fucking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jim wears a hat. <laughs> fucking, no, we got it. We heard you. <laughs> Nobody cares. Oh, God. So uh, very exciting, though, that you got, your, you got the morning gig. Uh, yes, we are very yeah. happy. That is uh, pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it's going well. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't want to get up. Uh, you, know, you know, I don't like getting up early. You know, it sucks. But it's like yeah. the bottom line is that's that's where uh, that's your lifestyle. Please, you got to. You, you got shit to do. You can't do like afternoons. Well, I can't fly. It's hard to fly when you're doing afternoons. It's also hard to uh, to like if, I, if I'm booking something, I might be able to get like a, a little bit of a later call time. Yeah. But I can't get one uh, late in the afternoon. With all your acting. Yeah, <laughs> that's the beauty of having them spaced out. Yes, yeah. Once every now, two years. I heard uh, you were at Amy Schumer's. Uh, we show were, yes. At the garden last night. Yes. And there's both of you, not just. So this. We go as a pair. Yes, we Sam, do. would you have been able to go and get backstage and everything if it, you hadn't been a member of the Jim and Sam show? I- I think so, don't don't you think? Or yeah, possibly. No, uh, he might. I don't think to. so. Yeah. <laughs> you know how I know? Because my pass said Jim Norton plus one. Ah, there you go. Which is the same as there were two passes, and they yeah. both said Jim Norton. Yeah. Plus so Jim, one. how does it feel? He's such a zero. I could have brought someone else with him, and he still would have gotten it. <laughs> <laughs> how does it feel for Jimmy to actually be the coattail? <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's very unusual. That is unusual. I, I don't know what to do with it. The responsibility. I've been trying to fuck him for two weeks. I don't handle this well. Uh, so you went down there, and uh, she has had some controversy, of course, sure. the past couple of days with uh, 200 people, I guess, walked out when she started yeah. talking about Trump. Uh, they got a little upset. But then I was reading it, and I'm like, wow, two, yeah, the other day I'm reading going, 200 people walked out. And it's like, out of 10,000 people that were <laughs> yeah. there. Eh, it's not like they're walking out of, uh, you know, ha-has. Yeah. It's uh, not not that big a problem. Yeah, I don't go I normally, I don't go to comedy shows for the same – I just don't want to. I'm not yeah. interested in watching it. But we, I was on, like I said, I was on a group text with her and Colin and Keith and I think Bobby Ooh, Kelly. Braggart. Well, yeah, yeah, all the big names. <laughs> uh, but we, I always get them, and we just insult each other. Right. She's like, hey, if you guys want to come, and uh, Colin was working, but <coughs> Keith came, and, um, and I went, and I brought Sam with me. Yeah, and what was the, what was the vibe backstage? Pretty cool? Fun, yeah, Give yeah. us a little entertainment report. Like, I know a lot of people hate her, but she's been my friend for a long time, so I'm just happy to see my friend. It's like, it's, it's a fun hang. It's yeah. relaxing. It's cool. What, what, is, what is the uh, hate about? They, well, you know, people, like, it's not necessarily her stand. I think the, some of the fans feel, or a lot of the fans feel, that, like, hey, man, she was this way, and now she's this way. They feel right. she turned into a social justice warrior, and they think she's being a hypocrite. Yeah. That's where, like, I said that to me on Twitter today. And it's like, look, if that's what you hate about her, I can't change the way you feel. But just don't, people think I'm doing, you like. can with a gun. Oh, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> but no, people are like, what do you try? You ride, we try to, your meal ticket? I'm like, my meal ticket? Since all this happened, <laughs> ah, yeah. I, I got cut out of train wreck. I'm not in the new movie, and I did one scene in her show last year. But <laughs> that's the worst meal ticket ever. Wow. I'm hungry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what an awful meal ticket. Yeah. Holy shit. So you're, you're back there, and uh, who's, who's some of the celebrities? There weren't really any. I mean, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, I don't know. Yeah, there weren't really any. Just like Madonna. Oh, you see Madge? We did, but we didn't meet her. We could have. What? We could have. No, because she came in just as we were about to go out to our seats because she wound up introing Amy. 
So we just walked out to our seats, and I wasn't going to ho- hover around. You're not going to hover. All right. Something <laughs> is missing from this story. Jim Norton would have gotten a picture with Madonna. Sure, but I don't know if it could have happened there, and I also wouldn't embarrass. Like, I won't put my friends in a shitty, uncomfortable position. This time Since probably... when? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's been two weeks now. <laughs> um, I was, uh, no, I, the first time, I, you know, I met uh, De Niro one, one time, and he said no. Robert De Niro. Yeah, people. Bobby D. That would be Robert De Niro. And the next time I met him, he was with Jeff Ross at the Comedy Cellar, and they were possible. Jeff Ross people. That's right. <laughs> The Roastmaster General. And I walked in. I said, hey, Jeff. And he goes, are you happy? And I said, yeah. He said, tell your face. I'm like, come on, General. <laughs> um, but I, De Niro was with him. And I didn't uh, ask for a photo then because it would have – Jeff had a work thing going. So I won't do it if it fucks with somebody else's – Jim Norton's a mutt. He's a bum. I'll punch, <laughs> I'll punch him in the face. <laughs> so, well, yeah. And, uh, yeah, Madonna was there. But, I, again, uh, and then uh, after the show, we, you know, and Roberta Flack, of course – that's, Roberto you know, Flack. Yeah. Jim was too distracted to get a Madonna photo because he had already locked his brain on the the the, the great white elephant, <laughs> Roberto <laughs> Flack. Eric Nagel. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you wanted Roberto <laughs> Flack's picture? Who wouldn't? So we find out, like, literally two minutes before she was going to be there, nice. we find out Roberta Flack's coming. And... Jim goes, oh, I'd like to meet Roberta Flagg. And then he turns around and he goes, I don't know the name of one of her songs. <laughs> I forgot that she sang Killing Me Softly. The and, original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before the Fugees. Yeah. yeah. Um, I forgot all that. So anyway, we did it. We went to the show. Uh, afterwards, we came back and... Uh, you know, we talked to Chappelle was there. It was nice to see him. I haven't seen him in a while. Dave long. Chappelle. <laughs> right. And there he is with Sam Roberts. That's, That's right. right. Wow. And um, Star-studded. Then we went to the but, after but, part. Oh. But the Roberta Flack, we talked about it on the air today, yeah. this yeah. morning. The Roberta Flack thing, she's in a wheelchair now. Oh, and Jesus. Jim at first wasn't going to get a photo because she's in a wheelchair. She's Rolling eating. me softly. <laughs> 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 First time ever I felt my feet. <laughs> oh, this is going to be ugly. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but none of you guys got blown last night by Madonna? She what? Was, she was giving out blowjobs. She did say that. Yeah, it was, it was actually funny. She said, if you vote for Hillary, I'll, I'll blow you. She said on stage. I wish I was backstage. I would have had a funny line. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hillary vote coming up. <laughs> we would have laughed. Got a picture. Is that come of the DeLorean to go back to the 80s? <laughs> then I might... That's still a lot. Uh, vote for I'll blow you. Is that her, a picture of her like now? Was it photoshopped? It's probably smoothed out. I'm just yeah. so cynical. Yeah. <laughs> so cynical. But so you, you've you never seen Jim be a more helpful person than he was after when the show was over? Because we were across the aisle from Roberta Flack, who was in her wheelchair. Uh. And... What are you at the top of the stairs? Yo, old hand! <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I do to crooners? I give it to them right in the belly. <laughs> Just rolls them down the stairs. Oh shit! <laughs> but I start walking towards like the curtain area so we can go back, and Jim wasn't behind me. And I hear his voice going, excuse me, wheelchair coming through, wheelchair. Oh, and he's, wow. He's yeah, pushing but I say that, flags. in fairness, I do say that when I'm walking alone. <laughs> <laughs> People just clear out of the yeah, way. Absolutely, it's amazing. Yeah. He's, he's, he's clearing a path so that he can Did push. you go, don't give me no flack. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. I kept saying, hey, you need some insurance? Ah, flack. Ah, flack. <laughs> oh, we were fucking rolling. Piece of garbage. Yeah, by the way, you don't want to go to a comedy show and sit next to Chip. Oh, I bet. He, he likes to tag. Yeah, well, oh, yeah, no, God, he jokes. tags the jokes. He likes to yeah. lean in and yeah. tag jokes just for you, though. Yeah. <laughs> just kind of whisper them. This is what I just said. Oh, yeah, it was bad. Terrible. Anything that starts with, have you ever? No. No. Or, yep. I have. <laughs> All right, good. You're not really supposed to answer that. Not literally. Rhetorical. It's just kind of, yeah. It's rhetorical. It's and is. then, like, he went to the security guard gym and made sure that Roberta had proper credentials so that she could get backstage. And wow. all of this because he's like, okay, now I don't care if you're eating or if you're in a wheelchair. I, after all that, you're giving me a picture. Yeah, picture. absolutely. Did she know it was you helping it because you're behind her? No, she was in front of me. She was behind me. And then she was right there, stopped, and I, and I said to the guy, like, I had, I had a good badge to get back. I'm like, that's Roberta, and he let her back. And then as soon as she got back, I'm like, all right, Feets McGillicuddy, let's take a picture. <laughs> it's picture time. <laughs> 
So yeah, it was. Uh, uh, it was, uh, and the after party was fun. We stayed for like what a half hour. We yeah, missed Madonna yeah, by man. ten minutes at the after party. I heard she stayed till one thirty in the morning. What was I gonna do? Just party. So, yeah, she's hanging out with Amy and Chappelle. I mean, it's like even there, I wouldn't have annoyed her. Jim and I are not she's good like at like sixty. What? Yeah, like, like, and she's out like that. Well, you're, yeah. only, you're only as old yeah. as you feel, you know? Is that it? Exactly. Yeah. You don't act your, your age. Well, that's for sure. <laughs> man who hangs out with his cat and insults people on Twitter. He's like, she should not act her age. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely do. It's my life, right? Maybe I should get out a little more. Has a fucking dinosaur in his backyard. <laughs> God damn it, that's immature of her. That's the coolest thing ever. I know, it really is great. Especially the Teftosaurus Rex. Did you see that photo show? Yeah. Fuck yeah. That's a good Travis yes, Teft. Yeah. So how is uh, how is the the new show like? Is it you, you're working for these guys, right? Yeah. You're, you're yeah. Uh, that, and who else do you got on the team? Well, Troy, we have, yeah. Because I see look in the audience here, Troy Kwan. Yes, of course you remember Troy. I do. And Adrian. And Adrian, who was an intern when I was uh, when I was there. Um, yeah, I I took him under my wing at nights. And Troy just kind of moved his schedule tonight. <laughs> <laughs> just with Troy was like, I think I'm going to move over here. All of a sudden, he wasn't there in the morning. <laughs> yeah, one day Troy was just gone. It was so it's, weird. Uh, <laughs> yeah, huh? Well, it's no secret there were some tensions and problems. I mean, I, I, I understand these oh, things. Oh, yeah, sure you do. I, I had been there for many years. Yeah. When you work with somebody for that long... The shit comes up. You're talking about D-Bag? Because we also have D-Bag, our guy yeah. D-Bag. D-Bag? <laughs> yes. Yeah. What? He, he, looks D -bag. Like, he looks like every child killer from the 50s. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I Yeah, the other know. day we wrapped up D-Bag in cellophane. Yep. In his underwear. Right. Yeah, was, and applied some uh, lipstick. Cocksucker red, yeah. Cocksucker red. Cocksucker yeah. red. Was that on the label? Is that a new Revlon? Uh, yeah, I like the name of it. Color. Cocksucker red. <laughs> yeah. That is a good name. Oh, yeah. Bro. Cocksucker red. Deep red lipstick. Which, by the way, that little weasel, because he does our video, has not put up the cocksucker red video yet. He's the worst. He really is. He yeah, he's to. put up all the other like celebrity yeah, stuff, in it, yeah. but he's, he's he's delaying a little bit. Yeah, he looks like the fucking one of the little mice. Remember the Babbitt and Costello mice? Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what he looks Babbitt! like. Babbitt! Yeah, 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 he's creepy. Uh, oh, boy, you also had a... Uh, some controversy with uh, Nancy Grace. Yes. I saw that whole thing, and uh, oh, my goodness. You guys, <laughs> Beavis and Butthead, yeah. she called you. <laughs> what a topical fucking reference to call yeah. two guys. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, Beavis and Butthead. Uh, you, you were saying that she, was, she exploits crimes and deaths and murders yeah. and dead children and yeah. whatnot uh, for her own gain. Yeah. And she had a problem with that? Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, we kind of knew she would. I'm yeah. I was surprised she talked to me at all because I bashed her so hard on Twitter. But like yeah. I said, I had to mention it right up front because otherwise I felt like a liar. Like I felt like I can't bash this woman on Twitter and then yeah. when she's in front of me, not at least say, hey, look, I've had a problem with what you've done because that to me makes me a, a, a fake phony fraud, as <laughs> Bob Grant is. would say. <laughs> yeah, she was really, uh, you know, she, uh, she pigtailed it out of there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, was, <laughs> she was really angry. Was she, uh, okay, wait, what did she say? Bye. 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 I think our time's up. Yeah. We're done. Me and my uh, tiny hooves are going to head out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to clip clop my way out of here. <laughs> uh, Peckers. She, uh, <laughs> what was she doing? Selling? a book, I guess, right? Yeah, I didn't even yeah, know where no. I would have plugged it. Yeah. Lifetime yeah. show. Or and there she goes, ha, ah, ha, one of those laughing, smiling, but I'm mad. And on The View, she said she was ready to cry. Yeah, she didn't. Yeah. She wasn't. She wasn't you know, ready to cry. You know what, what might have affected her, though, was at the end of the interview, <laughs> when she goes, I'm going to go, or whatever she Did said. Did Jimmy say she had a riffraff from Rocky Horror hairdo? <laughs> no, no I it. should have. <laughs> he, had a, he, had, he definitely had the same <laughs> type right. of moment. Right. He goes, uh, he goes, Good, go ahead. We're not going to kill ourselves. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it's not the same uh, the same tone as the riffraff. Line. Yes, yeah, yeah. That was uh, <laughs> really. I mean, <laughs> yeah. There have been a couple instances where people have left like that, and um, you got to throw a line on the way out. It's hell to, to watch. But, yeah, and then she got on the View and started, you know, bad mouthing uh, you guys. We didn't mind though. It was yeah. good for us. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> please, it's fuck, a party. I was texting fucking everybody. fantastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got yeah. that uh, that piece of shit. Our technique was criticized though. Because you know how you and Opie used to always talk about good cop, bad good cop? Good cop, bad cop. Yeah. We got criticized a little bit on Twitter for saying, hey, idiots, it's not bad cop, bad cop. Bad cop, bad cop. Yeah. They will usually leave sooner. Right. If you do bad cop, bad cop. We also didn't ease her in at all. Right. Yeah. You went Just right. Like, hey, don't you think you're exploiting dead kids? Dead kids. <laughs> uh, you exploiting. What do you think? Comment. Yeah. Talk. 
But it's like yeah. if she like people were coming up and being like, you know what you should have done? Nothing different because she talked about us on The View and called us right. penis and butthead. Yeah. That's what we yeah. should have done. Yeah, see? That's so you, you preemptively gave her shit for the shit she was going to give you on <laughs> yeah, the video. But Travis just kept whispering, you're burning the HLN bridge. You burn in the <laughs> HLN bridge. Yeah. She's not even with them anymore, the right? Wisdom of Teft. Yeah. Yeah, her, but you never know. Her fucking commercials for headline news, HLN, when she was like, uh, she's like, because that's what I'm here for. <laughs> and she's all sensitive, looking like she's ready to cry at the drop of a yes. hat. And they were making bacon, which is ironic. <laughs> <laughs> is she a little piggy? Oh, is she boy. A little piggy girl. With little teeny hands. Her little hands, his small hands. How do they get I that much food in her face? <laughs> I know. She had little, little, tiny, <laughs> little tiny, tiny baby dead exploitation hands. Yeah, little hands. Oh, uh, fuck. Meal fuck must be long. Yeah. Uh, and the, the, the election is just overwhelming. It's taken over everyone's lives. Everyone's it's getting so angry huge. about it, too. Everyone's angry. Angry. I can't believe there's only, what, 20 days or something left of this whole thing. It's yeah. kind of sad. <laughs> because... Life is going to change as we know it in 20 days. Now, regardless of who's elected, mm -hmm. I, I mean, with everything we've had for over a year now, a year and a half just about, it, it's been fixated on this race. We, we've developed and ruined relationships because of this race. Mm -hmm. And it'll be over. And now what? Everyone's going to be walking around going, who do I hate? <laughs> I need hate. The yeah. guy can't be president. Yeah, I know he's not going to be. He's not going to be, <laughs> or whatever. Or, or yeah, or she's lying about it. What difference does it make? She's sitting at home. I've never seen a situation with a presidency where I don't know who's going to win, and it could be a landslide either way. Like usually, it's very close, and like, well, it could go either way. It could go either way, landslide. Like I don't, I don't think the the media has a grasp on how to judge this. Like they used common. Uh, T uh, uh, polling techniques and whatnot. Right. I don't techniques. think they work in this situation. <laughs> I think it's like trying to find fish with a Geiger counter. Like, like it's just not going to register. Yeah, and it might though. If there's a small bunch of a little, if there's a little area, and you take your Geiger counter and you just start smashing it into the water, <laughs> you hit one of those little guys on the head. Fish. Yeah, or, or near near Fukushima, maybe. That's right. <laughs> with some radioactive fish. fish. I, I just don't think that we have a good uh, line on what's going on. I know a lot of people can't stand Trump. Yeah. And and he'll probably lose. But no one knows for sure. If they did, you wouldn't even hear from the other side. Oh, I always say if I knew for sure I had crystal ball, I'd play the lottery. Why Why, why did you do that? Jim? I say that all the time, but I don't know any better. <laughs> uh, I know you're um, – are you voting? Yes. And you're voting for Hillary. Don't know yet. You don't, I, I know. I, I have no idea. I really don't know. Wow. Neither, there's things about them both that I like and both that I don't like. I'm well, not trying yeah. to be different. I just honestly don't know. There's plenty to not like. Jim's sure. like Ken Bone. He's undecided <laughs> and likes oh, pregnant yeah. porn. Well, that's what we do. That's where we, uh, that's where we uh, do part company. We both have weird bodies, uh, but I don't like pregnant porn at all. <laughs> he loves pregnant porn. Yeah, I like fucking ass eating right outside of Planned Parenthood. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A jelly donut. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Private Pryor crying over his footlocker? <laughs> What the hell is <laughs> Who the hell is this? <laughs> a future president, a baseball player. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, uh, and, and w w you got any... Uh... I, at first, I was going to vote for Trump because I, thought, I still think it's funny, yeah. you know? Yeah, but it now, is funny. Like, I just hate everyone so much, I might... Vote for Gary Johnson. Wow. Because, like, Gary Johnson's become the funniest of all of them. Yeah. Gary Johnson's hilarious. He's hilarious. He's just a fucking idiot. <laughs> he's you know, a moron. He's, he's a bit dope. And, like, nobody realized it until it was way too late. Like, yeah. I'm sure, like, Penn Jillette is now being like, oh, I did all that campaigning for Gary he's Johnson. An idiot. He's a fucking moron. Yeah. <laughs> Travis uh, Teft, do you have any... Uh... Horse in the race, as uh, they say. Travis is having a bit of an Aleppo moment. <clears throat> oh! oh! Into the mic, Travis. We can't hear you. I didn't no, say anything. You're right? not voting. <laughs> no, I'll vote. Oh, but you're not going to say. Uh, you don't want the heat from the internet? I don't care. It's what not going to be faggy? Trump. Why don't you fucking vote for Trump? It's not going to be him. So probably, no. yeah. Pro I mean, or, yeah. or, or maybe I'll go with Sam. Then you get it done. <laughs> <laughs> I committed, and I'm going with uh, Trump, I like, no matter what. I really, I'm surprised. No matter what. I like your reasoning, though. Yes. Like, my reasoning yeah. is that I don't give a fuck what he says, what he does, 
What it's a, a protest vote against the politicians that have fucked us, that have entrenched themselves as lifers in the system, and know they could get away with whatever the fuck they want to do. And this guy shows them, look, look how bad you fucked up that we put this motherfucker in office. Or I think that's very appealing. That's a very appealing yeah. reason. And it's then really people are like, going well, at yeah. the expense of our country? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because the way it's going, I fucking can't stand... Uh, uh, the way they're shitting all over us with impunity. It's uh, the whole country, as they say, is going straight to hell, and it's going in a basket that would probably best be carried by hand. <laughs> uh. Hell in a hand basket. Wait a minute. <laughs> you said I've heard this long. Before. Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the debate is tonight. Ooh, I'm very excited Direct for from the Las Ooh, Vegas, too. Nevada. You better watch it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're doing our <clears throat> debate simulcast. That's Ooh. so. Cool. Play the debate. We got Pat Dixon and Gavin McInnes and myself covering all the angles. Let's do it. Coverage you won't see anywhere else. We are your election headquarters. I stole that from Fox News. That's very good. We are your election headquarters right here. I was doing those debates when I was doing the night show, but it would like it if at first it was like we'd have all these people in. But then by the last debate, it was just me commentating about just the you debate. Going, ah, what's this you guys guy know saying? what I think, yeah. What's this guy saying? If I run out of stuff, let's hear what Trump's got. Hillary hasn't been seen in like uh, over a week. She's preparing. Like nothing. She's probably preparing. Is she really preparing? Yeah, she was. She was How good in the last one against Trump. He could literally come out with, like, an RPG and shoot <laughs> He might. I'll yeah. tell you how. Because she rope-a-doped last time. She lets him – because he, he was doing really good. He was calm. He seemed presidential. But she throws light little jabs, and she knows that at one point he's going to get pissed off. I think he won that last debate. I though. do, too. But, yeah. I mean, I, think, I just think it's fun to watch. I thought that she – when she was talking, I thought she was as likable in those last two debates as she's ever been because she wasn't like, ah! There was, like, none of that. It was just her talking. Her talking. Yeah, so... You're always talking? <laughs> it's much funnier when it's in Benghazi. <laughs> See, uh, and, and Donald Trump is bringing Obama's brother. I yeah. That. That's one of his it's, guests. It's, uh, my, my wife called me because she kind of just reads headlines. And she goes, are we going to watch the debate tonight? I'm like, yeah. And, and she goes, and Obama's brother is going to be in the audience looking all Kenyan, right? <laughs> and I was, like, I, was like, I was like, yeah, but, like, she's... She's a, a woman, so she's not going to vote for Donald Trump. And I'm like, yeah, but do you know who he's supporting? And she goes, well, Hillary, obviously. And I go, no, that's, no. The, whole, that's the whole story behind this. The whole story is he's supporting Trump. Right, and she goes, oh, no. See, he, <laughs> she, Sam missed why she really called. She said, Sam, are you, she was basically saying, what time are you getting home? Oh. oh, you, oh. She needed an excuse. So there's another Kenyan coming. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh man! I should have seen that one. Coming. Absolutely, that's terrible. She uh, or, or I, it reminded me of um, when Michael Corleone got Frankie Five Angels' brother and brought him to the fucking hearing. Right. <laughs> it's like, yeah, and he'll just be standing there it's between the brothers, it's Kate. So, yeah, it's sort of threatening. I don't know why he would bring him. Has there ever been? A debate season where the people got corner people, like because Hillary's bringing Mark Cuban back. Mark Cuban's coming back. Like, didn't Don King go to the first one for yeah. Trump? Like you're not supposed those seats are for, like your family, your like, family, not you know a cut man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she's on the ropes, Donald. Yeah, well it's perfect because fucking uh, Obama's brother looks like Bundini. <laughs> you remember what Bundini looked like? <laughs> It's uh, it it is like nothing we've seen before as far as an election goes, and uh, it's been pretty entertaining. It's but, very fun. Yeah. Brought Jennifer Flowers last time. Jennifer brought Flowers the whole brought all of them. Clinton's all whole rape yeah. fucking Clinton's portfolio. Yeah. yeah, thank God it wasn't Cosby running. There'd have been two buses. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How many tickets can we? Get? <laughs> Standing outside online, can't get in. <laughs> uh, oh, I, I, did you see? I I got to show you that, and I know I, I I've shown this before uh, the other day, but have you seen the man cow? The, 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 I'm not sure if it's a bit or not. I have not. But the, Okay, this is fantastic. Apparently, there's a guy that Mancow has been friends with forever. And uh, he, he uh, says he won an Oscar for uh, Life of Pi. He's won Emmy. Sounds delicious. <laughs> P.I. Yeah, it's different. Kind yeah. Of yeah, it's that P.Y.E. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and he... Uh, he, he's friends with Man Cow, and Man Cow takes him around, and he does a, a spot on, on the radio station as Academy Award winner and stuff. And then it turns out maybe this isn't true. 
Maybe this guy has been bamboozling everybody. Fibbing. Now, I watched this, and of course, since it's Vancouver, I'm like, it's got to be fake. Like, this has to be a fucking work, right. dumb man cow work. But then he he starts getting a little emotional. Oh, no. I, man cow? Man cow. No. That must be uncomfortable in the air. Sit back and relax and enjoy this. <laughs> uh, roll this. It's fantastic. I can't hear it. Oh, turn up the volume, please. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Damon, I want to bring him in, um, and we have a lot to talk about here. Uh, I promised you a moment. Filter Paul. Yeah. It's no filter Paul, dude, because he's going to gain some weight. Moment for me. <clears throat> um, it's going to happen right now. Oh, wow. Sunglasses. Come on. Bring him in. shades. Yeah. This is the loop. Damon, how are you? Good, brother. How are you? I'm good. You are a brother. We are brothers. We're like family, right? Absolutely. Brother, I got a phone call yesterday from yeah. someone claiming to be legal. Yeah. Legal department. Yeah. This is fake. It's a, you already Academy know, Academy right? Fake. Wait. Okay. And that you've never won an Academy Award, and that you're an actor, and that you've been lying to me, and they're going to they're gonna take legal action against me if I say you're an Academy Award winner anymore. Really? Did you win an Academy Award for the life of Pi? Yes, I did. You won an Academy Award for the life of Pi? Yeah. Why, why are we... I got a picture of you holding the Academy Award. Mm-hmm. You let me hold the Academy Award. Not buying it? Yeah. No, it's so I've fake. I've been all over the internet. I can't. <laughs> there's no pictures call. of you at the Oscars. There's the no, Oscars there's no call, mention of man, you, Cal, anything God. like that. He's trying to figure out how to end this thing that he's been lying about. So he's like, we're going to just pawn the lie <laughs> off on you, okay? That's well, the strategy here. And, 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 then I, oh. and then I called the Grammys. Hold on a second. What? Where, How do you call you the call Grammys. Grammys? Hi, Grammys. Oh, I, oh wait, I know. called my Grammy. <laughs> oh, he turned the camera. No, say, I, I want to know. I have been... I, I, you're one of my dear... Hold on. No, put that down. By the way... No, no, no. Is, no I mean, there's, there's, cameras. Cameras. Yeah. there's cameras. Camera guy's not going to listen to the no, guest. I want to know. Huh. Why would... He's like, hey, turn the camera away from me. No, you got it, boss. Like, why? Yeah, I, I, there's, there's a why would he do that during the confrontation? I wanted Sam's take on this, because he's very good at finding the phoniness. This is these... Radio bits, and it's from being with Scorch for as long. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, <laughs> I'm an expert. This is incredibly fake. Incredibly fake. Incredibly fake. Now I want to see if you feel the same way when Mancow starts getting a little emotional. I want to see that. Let's see. Yeah. Now they take him out here, and he goes. Watch what he says. That needs to be taken out. So that needs to be taken out. Oh yeah. Go outside and tell him that needs to be taken out. Just, uh, <laughs> tell him to tell him, tell him, be, be really unhappy about it. Uh oh. He looks cool. Are you gonna wear the scarf? He looks real. You think so? Cool. I don't know, <laughs> Travis. <laughs> this isn't. This is. Look, he's he's just he doesn't know what to do. Right. If it's fake, so far it's well done. If it's, it's fake, not. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> no, it is. You don't think so? No. No, yeah, it's it is. not. All right. No, Mankow's gonna it's tie it all up though. No. Now, watch. This is a man who I set up to be producer with D. Snyder. <laughs> this is a man who I got backstage and set up to be with the Misfits. Not half man, half cow like me, but I a man. Tell me that when he was playing music here, he wasn't even playing that it was fake, right? Isn't that what you heard? Yeah, that he was playing to a backing track. Uh, Somebody called me yesterday. This is one of my dearest friends. Guys, I love this guy. This, <laughs> you cannot imagine how this crushes me. I've introduced him to everybody in town. I've introduced him to all my friends. Old man from, uh, from uh, what was the guy from town? Someone from the Achilles. White man from town. White man from uh, town. There, there he goes. Um, He's just a liar. He told my children that he was close with Taylor Swift. Yes, I have. <laughs> Hold on a second. Pause this. Pause this. I wasn't lying. I said I'm very good friends with Taylor, and if you give me a little little kiss down here uh, <laughs> get it to sign a new record and and how long could you keep that going though without pr- producing Taylor Swift to the kids yeah so far about three years <laughs> <laughs> they keep they just have that want to yeah. believe that they're going to meet Taylor yeah. and they'll do whatever you know yeah sometimes I hand them the phone and they go Taylor and I go oops you must have been a bad boy she hung up <laughs> They were. <laughs> They're so young. They were. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. Speech impediment. Yeah. That they'll grow out of at some point. Yeah, I mean, but just such a young age. I mean, right, right. 
You know, it doesn't take long to grow out of that, but it's just so I like young. how you had to, like, put it way over the top and how young they were. Very young. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah. if, if this guy is really not an Academy Award winner, Here it is. if this guy's an actor, as someone told me yesterday, oh, God, what I've done, you don't even want to know. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, Ant, you should be. There's a little girl that had cancer. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. Hold on a second. <laughs> Hold on. The girl had cancer. They walked into a bar. She owned it. No, Chip. That doesn't even make any sense. Hold on a second. A uh, girl with cancer is about to jump out of a plane along with the Pope and the rabbi. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and then they go, all right, which one of us should go first? And they push her. They're like, well, why not? <laughs> no great loss or nothing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, you're not, you're not buying it. He's oh, crying. Wow, well, these two. Like, like I would have cut it because you know the reason I know how to spot fake is because I'm just thinking about how I would. You've seen those orgasms at home. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't even. She doesn't bother faking it anymore. That's just when you check white on an application. It's not... <laughs> yeah, the paper actually crumples itself up. Like... <laughs> I was thinking about how I would present that for. October. Right. And now, like, the first clip, I would know that Jim would be like, ah, that might be real. That might be real. And it'd be, like, four clips in. And the fourth clip would be like, and the girl had I'd be like, oh, all right, this is God so fake. So fake. Yeah. yeah. We That's... should do some Jocktober this year. People, I think people so. have been I've asking talked... for it. Yeah. 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 Really people funny. have been requesting. Yeah. Uh, the rest of uh, me. Swift. <laughs> <laughs> And I was working with David every day. We gotta get this kid a call from Taylor Swift because I believed he knew her. Ugh. And the mom. Oh my God. The mom was calling me saying, Ugh. "Please, my daughter." Right, Jim. Nice. This is well done. Why? No, I, I, I bailed out. I bailed. Out. Hold on. Hey, Why well would you done. do this? You listen to him right now. He's going, I'm not an animal. I'm not an animal. Like, what's the upside so to your personality? To do that. That's why I said, oh, you're a faggot. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, why not? Have I have those conversations in the mirror? I might as well have <laughs> might as well let the listeners say it. Oh, Pekka's. <laughs> <laughs> he's, just, he's just so scummy because, like, there is no payoff. It's just a moment. He just wants people to be like, oh, did you hear Man Cow this morning? He was wow. breaking down. He was, he was lied to. And it's not even like it's for humor. It's not. There's no. So they just, someone talks about him. Yeah, and so he's. Someone out there goes, Man Cow was crying on the he radio. He wouldn't do that. And he will never he fess up real. to it. Like, exactly. Like, yeah. he would just right. live in the lie forever. Like, he's just comfortable having a relationship with his audience where they're just people that he lies like to. Like the guy from The Prestige. Yep. You have to live your lie. Right. For the act. <laughs> yeah, I cried. Yes, that was real crying. Yeah, I thought he was. I thought he knew Taylor Swift. Yeah, I, I thought he knew crying. Taylor Swift. Yeah. You know, I, I was a cancer girl. I was supposed to introduce her to Turd. <laughs> Turd was supposed to be there. Yeah. I wasted all that money on a little wig. <laughs> <laughs> the only people that are helpful on his show are either people that are in on the lie or people that are attempting to prank him. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was very helpful at yeah. that time. Man cow, what do you think? Great question. Click. Man, how, uh, man cow, cancer kills a lot of Americans. Thanks for the call. Take care. Uh, you know, when I was trying. Uh, any more of uh, man cow here? He goes... Hey, bro, she's real busy, but, man, I'm talking in the studio. I mean, I don't know. Is it all a lie? <laughs> is he Kanye's producer? Is he what? a Grammy Award winner, as he claimed? Does he have Emmys? Did he go to the moon? He said he went to the moon. Emmys, local <laughs> what else is this guy doing? He was with guy. Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> yeah, was he really in the limo <laughs> in Daily <laughs> Plaza? <laughs> this guy believes everything. Wiping no tears. Yeah, exactly. No tears. Wiping a dry lash off a dry face. Kathy, you believe in the Award winner? No. I thought it was a guy that worked with Taylor Swift and Kanye he West, but just had time to hang out with him all the time. The is fake. He told me he was close with Ang Lee. You don't believe this? He said he was close with Ang Lee. What's that? It doesn't come up anywhere. If you call the Academy Awards, one phone call, it'll take two minutes. Did he get a moon man from, from the, is he an MTV award winner? He told me he was a moon man winner. He's making this shit up now as he goes. Wait a minute, hold on. How do you call the Academy Awards? 
Hi, Academy Awards. Yes, it's all of us right here. Yeah, <laughs> I, uh, yeah Academy Awards. Here. It's just the Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, it's those three boring guys that have to get introduced every year at the Academy Awards. Right, that's they answer every, when the Academy Awards aren't happening. Yes. They just answer calls. They're the guys answering the phone. They yes. fact check. Hello, Westinghouse. Award? Yeah, what? Well, could you look at us? See if uh, this guy has an award. No. Oh, I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> there is a phone number online for the Academy Awards. Really? Should we call it? Oh, Wayne Newton looks good on TV. We should... Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. We should call... It looks like Wayne Newton Harambe. <laughs> 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 I like the Sam Harambe. My favorite Twitter account. It is a good and, one. And Teft Chipperson. <laughs> Teft Chipperson. <laughs> All day. Holy shit. Another one I can't think of that's really funny, too. Look at him. He really wow. looks weird. He looks very odd. It looks you like Wayne Newton. Work done? Yeah, yeah it, 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 look, it looks like he got smashed uh, with an Asian man in the uh, Haldron Collider. <laughs> 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 His eyes are going to get like a flounder. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Right. Oh, look, he laughed. His tie lifted. <laughs> <laughs> that's because it's Vegas. You know, they're doing the debate from Vegas. So sure. they're a big... Vegas thing, you know, showgirls. And- oh, I just think the country is in... Not- yeah, okay, Wayne Newton. We're really interested yeah, in where exactly. you think the going. It's a real it's Not Wayne Newton! <laughs> <laughs> Wayne he Newton. said, uh, <laughs> Mankow also said that this guy told him he wrote Roar for Katy Perry. Oh! That's another thing he said. So that's another thing he could just like, come and hang out. By the way... Like if you One just, of our biggest hits. Look, the liner notes. Songwriting credits yeah. are given. <laughs> yeah, It's illegal to not put your name. No, that's not the way the business works anymore. Oh, no, he, he told me I would have believed him because uh, he's a friend of mine. That's weird. There's 17 names that wrote that one song, <laughs> and none of them are yours. Turd. <laughs> and your fact turd. turd. I heard Turd wrote Stairway to, he- to Heaven. <laughs> turd. Did you write that, Turd? He says he wrote it. There's no yeah, turd. He said he wrote it. Turd never wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> what a stinking liar what he a is. liar <laughs> I heard he wrote a whole bunch of other songs <laughs> oh god chip holy fuck <laughs> <laughs> you took our car crash hey, whoa. Sound of- hey you oh. thief that's ours Dude, I, I, I have a little sound thing now. <laughs> I'm nowhere saw. near as good at it as you are. I see that. Such uh, a pain in the ass. Sam loves it. Language, young man. Language. <laughs> I just don't understand why you put sounds of yourself on it. <laughs> well, that's no. like you going like like oh, wah 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 or something, no. and it'll instead of just saying it on mic, you'll hit a button. This is the best one. <laughs> Just, just do just, that. But he just hits it. I and like that, hitting it. Because he likes to talk over it so he can prove to everybody yeah, that he hit a button. A button. And then he had, like, Adrian go through some movie that I still don't know. Nobody knows what movie it was. And, like, I can't even remember the line at this point. But the character says the same line four times in the movie. Uh, it's your pleasure, young fella. And he told Adrian, I need all four. Yes. And I oh, need them on different four. buttons. Yes, to make yeah. sure that, that we have the right one. <laughs> but they all sound exactly the same. You're not being economical with your sound machine. No, you're right. Did you did your machine ever not work when you hit the button? I remember times you hit the button and it would just kind oh, of. Oh, and it sh- wouldn't work. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I only have this one template on here right now. I go. Oh, I could go to two. All right. Well, that machine's right. better. Car crash is the best. One. Is that this better than because you use what? You know, iPad? I'm getting used to the iPad. Um, it's a press. It's an. It's a press. Yeah. It's not a tap, or a touch, or a hit. A press. It's a press. Why? Because otherwise it doesn't work. It's a tap. Oh, no, it's not a tap. It's yeah. certainly not a tap. I'm saying it should be a tap. We talked to Mars about it. It's not even a tap. <laughs> <laughs> fucking asshole. What a dick. <laughs> I love how he was just lying through the Yeah, line. I bought it for a minute, but. Yeah. Did, did you see Scorch? Uh, do you have any Scorch updates? On, I on saw. Somebody sent me. We haven't done a Scorch update yet. But somebody sent me, like, I guess there's a company or a channel or whatever that does really popular viral oh, videos. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. And what they do is they hire, like, oh, no. actors who are just people who I've are, I've never like, heard of this. <laughs> who would do something like that? <laughs> who want to be actors to react to things. Yeah. And Scorch popped up in one of them. <laughs> of course ah. he did. Just, but he's like, and it's so, like, he's in it for a second. Like, you can tell they cut him out. Because even in the second... <laughs> Even in the one second that he's in it, he's just doing his big Scorch reactions. <laughs> his over oh, the yeah. top. Over the like, top. Have you yeah. seen Scorch's sizzle reel for his acting? Yes. 
Sizzle reel. Yes, I have. It I is. Have it. Oh, please. You got to see this. It must be good. It's so good. That's why I like having you guys here. It's all the things that I've seen over the course of the, the years. And now it's like, yes, I wanted to share them with you. Yes. Scorch, man cow lying. Come yeah. on. No, I still, in my downtime, I still uh, watch a lot of Scorch stuff. Scorch <laughs> P- PFG TV. He doesn't talk to he me, does- though. No. He doesn't talk to me. He doesn't though. like you? Yeah. Oh, you are persona non grata. Yeah. When this, I got fired, I so was you. celebrating two years ago. <laughs> he said, <laughs> fired. He said, that's what happens with my mentors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they tend to not want to talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> you Is this it? You know what this means, right? Two assassinations. One week. <laughs> You know, I forgot. Why don't you tell me what it means when a member of the council gets bumped off? Hey, Reaper. Time to die. He's just doing a score. Just make sure there's some action scenes in there, okay? Yeah. To make a diamond. You know, it's funny. People came up to me. They thought the voice was part of the mask, but that's my voice. That's lighting, my voice. The lighting is really good. Yeah, the lighting is really good. Every cloud that comes your way. If it weren't for me. Don't they know they used this? Oh, here he is. Lefty. What? Would you like to buy one of our toys? Why the hell would I want to buy one of your toys? That's like how people talk. What is that? This is really good. I remember this. This is called Tefty. That's... <laughs> <laughs> But a mean man who comes out. You know, I want separate pay for my toothpick. It's like a character unto itself. You know what's great is ever since I started doing these movies, I can write off even more toothpicks. More toothpicks. <laughs> They're a write-off, you know. Deductible. I spend T-shirt. I spend ten thousand dollars a year on toothpicks. <laughs> and like he would leave the room, and Paulie would be like, "Do you have any fucking idea how many toothpicks you can get for ten thousand dollars? That's impossible. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> you just write it off. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. You know because it's part of my thing. It's part of my shit. Whatever it takes. Yeah. Uh, all right. More, more scorch here. Sizzle reel. Do I look like I play with dollies? Do I look like I play with little fairy toys? No, I don't want one of your toys. Oh, by the way, I could tell in the way he delivered that, that he, I'm sure, improved so many things along with, because fairy toys is not in the script. Oh, and you think that's like, a scorchism. Oh, but, um... And he was just sitting there. It said, probably said, do I look like I play with dollies? And he did this. Dollies. Dolly. Fairy toys. Fairy toys. Fairy toys. Fairy toys. Uh, Girly thingy things, raggedy oldies and andies, and, uh, <laughs> scorch. You think he improv that? Oh yes, he did. And then we're like, yeah. he wouldn't give them a take without his improv. Yeah. You think and it then, helped? And then when he did this, he was like, Hey, remember that movie I did where I got to improv that uh, that thing about the dollies? But make sure that's on there. Yeah, that's on there. I, I punched up the script myself. Right. By the way, the guy, the guy who put together the sizzle reel. Yeah. Was promised. I'm sure. I don't know. I know. I not. I know nothing right. about it. But I'm telling you, he was. Uh, he was sold a bill of goods to put together this. Uh, <laughs> this sizzle reel. Boy, were some promises made because there was no compensation for this sizzle reel. I can you guarantee. You shan't that. be compensated. No. But let me tell you something. It's an investment in the future. Right. Of the scorch business. It's going to be huge. I'm already. I already got offers to act in the uh, in the uh, UK. The UK. Here's the thing. I already got the role, but they need a sizzle reel to show their bosses. The role's done. It's mine, but if you can put together the reel, then you can end up getting 10% of what I make after we submit the reel. I need the magic that's on the tape. <laughs> on the tape. Yeah. <laughs> magic is, is my bars on the tape. Yeah. The, the, the tape. Take it. yours. We go to the movie company. We get the, the role. What part of this aren't you getting? <laughs> Uh, a little more uh, scorch. I don't no, it did not come through, puzzle. no. What is it? A little puzzle of, of a little kitty cat, maybe a little puppy dog, huh? I don't want your puzzle, no. Fact. I thought a sizzle it's reel was supposed to be go. parts of it. You know, I seriously, I just punch you right in the face, you know? Fuck I don't yeah. stink like a skunk. <laughs> I don't want your puzzles. I don't want any of your girly toys. You know, why don't you just get the hell out it's of here? It's girly toys why again. <laughs> That's how you know it was ad nice, good. Oh, this is like a uh, oh, road gosh, warrior. No. Oh, Wow, that's so cool. Looks good in that t shirt. Yeah, <laughs> just like Mad Max. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like that. Uh, what's the British guy's name? Ask. And I Mad Max. Ask and Bane? He looks like him. I Mad Scorch. Me. Take. So, what's that? I take. <laughs> Is he dead now? Smell <laughs> now! <laughs> My mother always told me when you don't have anything good to say about somebody, you don't say anything. 
So Chet, Mark, and Frank. Oh, my oh yeah. God. Make sure some of the PFG TV is on that PFG reel. In there. You know, they may be looking for a talk show. Who did? Go. Sam Kinison is a guest. <laughs> Holy shit, what is that? Get those Renaissance Fair guys on. It was the one time I had a bigger jerk off than me on the show. <laughs> That's like saying oh, I saw this commercial on TV. You did? Yeah. Did you freak out? I totally freaked out. What was it a commercial for? I couldn't tell you. Because when you're so arguing or debating, oh, he's good. The only way yeah, I made five million for it. Can't say, can't say how much I made. Five million. Five million. We <laughs> love great taste, and we traveled all the way to Dodge City, Kansas. Oh, he's voiceover too. Voiceover work too. Well, the radio lead. That's uh, yeah. <laughs> what makes great steak? Toward America's and finest cattle. You should dress You eat tender, juicy, and flavor? Not gonna do it. No. Nope. I'm gonna do it my way. Put it into gray. Oh, and here's Vito Carlucci. Vito Carlucci. Vito Carlucci. Yeah. You know, I still haven't asked Triple H if the story is true that Scorch got him into wrestling. Sure. Did you see his mic work that he just recently did to try to get back into wrestling? Oh, my God. Cut this off immediately. <laughs> this is perfect for you, Sam. Oh, no. He, he, he did like a fucking promo. Like a pro- yeah. Uh, to, to Triple H. No, no, no. Oh, that's probably good. Hey, very dude, good. This is so embarrassing. Because he's like, well, now Triple H has power. Triple H is running the company now. Oh, my so God. he's going to be like, oh, that's Scorch. I the remember guy, Scorch. He gave me my career. This will actually be great because I it, can now pay him back. Right. Yeah, let's see this pro- promo. It's picking up internet steam. It's so we'll, so yeah, we'll bring him to Raw. They did, probably, yeah, they, they, yeah, Hunter did reach out recently yeah. about guest hosting Raw, but I was getting my reel. So. <laughs> yeah, it could have happened, though. <laughs> You used to tell. Oh, when do I was. Think he'll be, do you think he'll be hosting Raw? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Never. He was sitting there. You remember, uh, what was his name? Kevin Straley from XM? Was yes. That mm-hmm. He'd be sitting there. He obviously heard the name from somebody because he was like, yeah, you know. <laughs> he just lied so much. <laughs> it was lied. so weird. He was like, he was like, yeah, had another great conversation with Kevin Straley over the weekend. You know, we both grew up in Massachusetts. But he had all these details <laughs> about conversations that he had with executives from XM Radio. I bet that they were true. You think so? Yeah. yeah. It's very believable. He would work out every little detail. Oh, yeah. Remember, he was wearing the uh, brown pants and uh, sweater. <laughs> you said it was a phone call. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, but he, he told me. He told me, yeah. Call. We talked about uh, clothes. We talked about everything. We talked about clothes. We talked about everything. He's a good friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find that thing? Oh, no. Was it like from the old days before No, was this Scorch? was pretty new. It was uh, Scorch. He's trying to get himself back into the WWE. I think it's going to work. It's it like wrestling. A month ago, right? uh, what was that? It was like a month ago. It was like a month ago. It. I didn't watch it. Yeah. Oh, it, it's so embarrassing. I bet it's good. I Somebody just tweeted to you? It. Uh, God, I don't even know where it came from. Yeah. It, just was, it appeared like magic. I want to see. <laughs> like Scorch old. does. Yeah. Scorch does. Pause for pause. Sometimes you do <laughs> things that you think you're going to sound good. Let me tell you something. Like, my, my audition as the Joker, people, people, my, I've been saying it to somebody, and she just doesn't like my new Joker voice. Oh, no. Could we maybe Doing hear, a new Joker? Hear a little of your new Joker voice. Well, I, you know, while they're looking. While they're... <laughs> Let's hear a little of your Joker voice. Okay. You'll never get away from me, Batman. <laughs> I don't know. It's not totally bad. You know what's the worst thing is that that didn't just come to him just now. Oh. He's been practicing that alone in his apartment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's well, I don't know good. why he doesn't video it and put it out like everything else, like st- eating salad. Yeah. No, that's <laughs> only the premium stuff. Coffee. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Yeah. The coffee cup in the fridge was so annoying. He told me. Knocked it over. He told me that, you know, he got his picture with Roberta Flack yesterday. Ooh. And he said he's, I'm talking about you. (laughs) And he said he spent the evening after he got home masturbating and listening to Killing Me Softly. Oh. It matched my dick. (laughs) (laughs) Except except instead of saying Killing Me Softly with his uh, uh, song, I believe. Song, yes. It was. Pekka? Yeah, it was just, it kept saying, killing me softly with his Pekka. <laughs> it was hours. <laughs> just like, you get it out of your head and, no. or well, mouth. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. oh, you found it. Here oh, let's it is. see this. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Vito Carlucci. WWE Universe. You know what? Better WWE yet, Universe. Triple H. Why don't you let me address this one to you? Because you and I have got a history, a long history. 
No. I met you when you were a 15-year-old strapping young buck just breaking into the industry. You saw Vito Carlucci doing what it is that Vito Carlucci does. I promised you then and there at some point I would take a hold of your career and I would bring you to the top of that ladder. What? And then what happened? Think of the hell that you and I went through. Think of the blood, the sweat, he the tears. WWE. Frankly, he this isn't his journey. To get a hold of your contract. And then once I got a hold of your contract, what happened? Your life became a series of firsts, thanks to me. Why? Oh my why does the glasses God. The worst thing you know, ever. Wait, hold on. Why does he keep leaving the glasses up? Just leave them up. It was well, he's I, dramatic. Vito yeah, Carlucci. when he puts the glasses up, it means... This guy's good. It's very good. In professional wrestling. I'm the one that got the deal. You're not even a wrestling fan. You're compelled by that? Yeah. Oh, wow, it must be good. Yeah, think back, frankly, you got to face the Think Triple H would, would watch this and go, I need Vito Carlucci. I, I'm not... He's not raising the glasses. More, more futzing with the glasses. Futzing, and then he that makes the big eyes when he does it. Good. I would love it. Top of the mountain till I decide... If this went blind... the humor in this... Oh, God... And, like, just brought him in to fuck with them. Because they're not above that there. Like, they've certainly done that before. It's just smart asses. Yeah. Nothing says a, a, a promo video better than the occasional appearance of your blinds. You're just a little different. He's yeah, they are. But the light's peeking through. Yeah, what do you do? Your road was just a little bit more golden than my road. We have both done television. We've both oh, done no. movies. No, you haven't. Go- Men go- of go- similar go- ill. Triple H. We have both walked down that aisle and into that squared circle. Oh, that's right. We haven't. That's right. Booed, cheered, loved, hated. It doesn't make a difference. We both know that special feeling. Felt indifferent about. <laughs> Ignored. <laughs> But a member of the, of the fraternity, a member of the boys, you know. Well, Triple H, month after month and year after year, I've been sitting back saying, someday, some way, Vito Carlucci is going to come back to the WWE. How do you do this? In the right time. It should be longer, though. Why does it come? Yeah. And why does he keep saying come back to WWE? I am telling you, as a matter of fact, I will tell you everybody that's ever been in WWE. At no point. No point. Does Vito Carlucci or Scorch or anyone under any pseudonym by that guy ever in WWE? Ever. Ever. Listen to him. It might be. And WWE Universe, like I always say. You can love me, or you can hate me. I don't really give a rat's ass what you think about me. The bottom line That's is, as I prove it over and over again, is I am here for a to t-shirt. Say, <laughs> Deal with it. Oh, oh. That's good. Oh, and then uh, you, know, <laughs> he did you see him? You see him turning the phone off? He turned it off. Ma, I got to do this now. <laughs> That's uh, good. The end was good, though. The oh. face. Deal with it. How do I turn this off? How do I, yeah. how do I turn this off? And it's yeah. like, it's like, <laughs> oh, that's just so Scorch and Triple H did like local wrestling when Triple H was first, first, first starting in like New England. Yeah. yeah. And then like, but Triple H hasn't even thought about him no. in tw- maybe 25 years. Yeah. You don't think that he owes his career to Scorch? <laughs> no. Yeah, now it's a blast from the past. Triple H's journey. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Like the, the journey that Scorch is talking about, that's their journey. Right. Like that, Triple their H's journey, journey. It hadn't even started yet. <laughs> like Triple H was like, yeah, you know, I spent a few years doing some weird shit. And then yeah. a few years doing some weird shit, that to Scorch is the whole journey. <laughs> you know? like, like, but they walked down that aisle into the squared circle. And tell you both something? loved right. and hated. In the, in the Triple H biopic. Yeah. Scorch would be cut out. It would be, he wouldn't have to be in there. He wouldn't be in it. Yeah. He wouldn't, he he wouldn't would. have a role in I it. I disagree. You think Vito like, Carlucci would play a part? I do, yeah. He, that was a good promo. He points at he just like, you the eye, and he keeps showing you the eyes. Deal <laughs> with it. But first he got to go, ha, 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 ha. Deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If he said deal a meal, that would have been just as menacing. <laughs> Deal with my toothpick. <laughs> <laughs> I love to see him choke on his fucking toothpick once or twice. Like, that was good. Well, yeah, it was good. Like, when was the last time there was a wrestling manager? You know what I mean? Like, it's not even it's, Mr. Fuji. Like, right? It, isn't that just something from the past? It is from the past. Did we hear a classy oh, Freddie Blassie? He's dead. Some guys are grandfathered <laughs> in, but. That's it, though. Uh, and Wizard? Oh, in the uh, and what, too. <clears throat> what was this? Walk a Flock of Flame and Ric Flair? Yes, apparently <laughs> they've announced a run for the oh, White God. House. 
Ah, <laughs> <laughs> it's Bobo. And he brought donuts. I, I brought... Walk it right into, <laughs> right into thin air. Well, just, you see, Bobo was informed on his way here yeah. that Jim Norton <laughs> requested a dozen donuts, none with holes. one with holes, I asked for every one without holes they had. He didn't. Now, no holes in the donut. I don't, I don't want, I, I'm ill, I can't now, have Bobo, it. you know Jimmy's on a strict, you know. <laughs> You're crying already. A, a dietary program. I don't think he eats donuts. Do you eat donuts, Jimmy? No, I don't. Someone told me that Jimmy or someone. You look familiar. I know I've seen you before. Oh, boy, have you listened <laughs> to the show that we've done, Jim and I? I? You should be listening because Jim has actually. I brought up Bobo a few times. I, yeah. I've listened. Jim has no recollection. No recollection. Bobo no, but you look well. familiar. You look familiar. I have to listen days later because I don't have a serious XM subscription. You're not talking into a microphone. No, you're talking into thin air with a bunch of donuts in your hand. Yeah, there's a microphone. Oh. Sit out, Travis. Why did you just walk away and come back? <laughs> sit over there. Put the, put the donuts on the table, and sit over there by the mic. There you go, Bobo. Because I don't have a Sirius XM subscription, because right it got too expensive. It starts with because. I had to. Word I, is because. I've had to listen maybe as many as maybe about two days later. Well, Bobo, let me show. explain. I got to tell you that that I've been talking about like you what you're doing now and some of the memories on the show and everything. And Jim has no recollection whatsoever. But looking at you, I think uh, you look familiar. I mean, I- I'm sure I've seen you. I just don't uh, know you've where. seen me many times, at Jimmy. The, you used to go I go by the name Bobo. Years ago. By the name Bobo, he said. Yeah, years ago. Maybe if you tell him what your dog's name is. <laughs> Mr. Maloney gives Oh, you have a dog? Schnoodle. What type of dog is Mr. Maloney? He's a schnoodle. Oh. He's a schnoodle. <laughs> you don't remember that? He, you guys are messing with me. No, he had said that Mr. Mulligans was a schnoodle like a few times. I've never heard that. Wow. Wow. What? what uh, who? There's no one would name a dog Mr. What kind of a cunt would name a dog <laughs> Mr. Mulligans? Well, well, what, what, what might Jim remember you from? Uh, he might remember me from that time I did that fugitive bit. When I was, <laughs> making, when I was, when I was mocking that fugitive bit. Just when I, when I was mocking through. a fugitive bit that you you guys were listening to, was that during... your most famous bit? Uh, yeah. Could you do a little of it? Maybe we don't remember the sound. Mm. Oh, mm. yeah, yeah. I missed that. <laughs> I I have an app that improves this now that does a, that allows me to do a better job with this voice than before. But I'll, I'll try to do it here. Technology. Just do it like you did. That's what yeah. Jimmy would I remember. I am the fugitive. I am the fugitive caller. I have stolen ten thousand dollars from Mel Carmazan. You remember this, Jimmy? <laughs> no, no, no. I don't know who Nell Carmazan is. Nell who Carmazan. is she? And <laughs> a lady? Well, but what other bits did you do that he might remember you from? He has a tease of me. Uh, he, like, he, did you have any recurring bits? Uh, I had a habit of sometimes if I getting a boner, <laughs> talking about a girl that I was attracted to. What do you mean? So you, you get a boner? I don't understand. Oh, very easily just talking about a girl that I was attracted to. But how do you be able to see your boner if your pants were on? Uh, you, you guys would have make me drop my pants just to see it. Oh, my God. We would never do that. Yeah, remember that, Jim? No, that, I don't. You wouldn't have done that, right? Lying. I wasn't even allowed over there at Sirius XM. You're lying. You think he's lying? Yeah, I know he is. No, I'm telling the truth. I'm not lying. Ah! He knows his fucking knows phrase. His catch <laughs> phrase is now. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, it you know, really is. He delivers it. Oh, oh, like that. Oh. Let, me, let me tell you something, Triple H. <laughs> 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 I, I got into that squared circle, not realizing they're different things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I tried to put the square play, peg in the circle. <laughs> something plague. <laughs> I'm saying. That's a plague. It's okay. Plague. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Waka Flocka Flame and Ric Flair. Yeah. Uh, r- running for the White House. Do what they, is, yeah, but this, do they really have a shot? Do they? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess uh, I guess who kid's out of the picture then? Because before any of this Trump nonsense started. Who kid wanted to? Uh, well, wa- remember they, had, they put out that press release that Waka was going to run for president and who kid was going to be the vice president. Oh, man. They figured they had to whiten up the ticket a little bit. And put the nature boy in there? The nature boy. (laughs) Is the nature boy even in any shape to do anything? I've seen some clips of him. He didn't look very well. I mean, he's very sort of, you know, red-faced. Yeah, yeah. You know, puffy. Oh, you know what I mean? Like, oh wow! Like, Imagine if Waka Flocka Flame is puffy, you'd be like, "Whoa, there's, there's two rappers in one." Who is this? 
Jim Norton. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's just Jim Norton. Who is, who is this? I Little Jimmy. <laughs> I'll tell you who it is. Four hours of sleep in two days. That's who oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy got no sleep. I'm white, brother. Oh. Yeah, plus... Uh, <laughs> Oh, a lot of the no, holes no fun people no yeah. holes. are pointing out that Waka is not 35 years old. I got old. what they had. To oh, hold. yeah, yeah. I didn't think it was 35. Uh, oh, God, he does look bad. <laughs> all right, let's, <laughs> let's uh, see what this is all about, shall we? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, oh, those donuts God. look good. You want one for you. Oh, yeah. Big flair. Oh, it's got to be true. Earlier this year, I announced my presidential campaign, but I due to Article 2, <laughs> Section 1 of the U.S. Constitution, saying I'm too young <laughs> I've been forced to leverage bureaucratic loopholes just like Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. That's I'm right. now introducing the perfect running mate. Nature boy Rick Flair. Woo! Oh god. Oh my look at his god, it's just kinda My brother, the greatest rapper in the world today, wants a nature boy to be his running mate. Oh, Are you kidding me? Not He's a wheeling dealing, Stop kiss stealing. Do you know what? You know why he likes me? Because he knows I'm a kiss stealer. <laughs> Wheel and deal, limousine rap, jet flying, flying, son of a gun, and they're having a whole hard time. Oh <laughs> my god. Did he mess it up? You might have he that sometimes stumbles through. <laughs> <laughs> <He's laughs> <like, "What laughs> but he's the nature boy, female baby. population of the world thinking about right now. Are you kidding me? You, you can have whack, flack, no, and a nature boy on the same <laughs> ticket now. Register to vote. We won't lose. Whack a flack. Woo! Woo! Whack a Nature boy. Oh! Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, night long. What the oh. fuck is this? Woo! Watch it, beautiful. <laughs> Don't wait on a fake. Me, it's a nature boy, baby. I feel so bad for these old Space Mountains. Oldest ride, longest line. 16. Woo! America. Yeah. Woo! Oh, yeah. Flare, well, flame. It's going to be hard to get on the, At this point, though, how are they going to get on the debate? You think it's going to be hard? To, are they on the debates tonight? <laughs> no, I, I, I don't they? know. I don't know what party they're they're with. Maybe they, Are they doing another third-party debate? I bet Ric Flair could beat Gary Johnson. Yeah, well, that's... <laughs> yeah, it's, you know what party they're, they're members of? Let's have a... Party. <laughs> Let's have a party. That's, uh, um, that's a tough How about Andrew from Indiana? Uh, hey, uh, me and Kyle, love you, love the show. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Did our uh, screener tell you to say that? No, no. That, oh, that, you just really mean it. Well, oh, I thank you so much for that. <laughs> Did he really uh, love I, me and love the show? <laughs> oh, he loved me. He told me he loved me. I called up the love place. <laughs> <laughs> he ever I called me. He jumps off the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a Tony. Of, uh, observations. Yes. Uh, I wanted to know if you could uh, cop rattle uh, Travis to get him to talk. I mean, the, the dude's a genius, and I'd love to hear from him once in a while. He throws in a uh, Seinfeld reference when need be. Travis is a genius, and I would tell you why, because everybody likes him. Yeah. He knows everybody likes him, and he's been around this long enough to know that if you start talking a lot, you get what's called in the business, Sam, <laughs> <laughs> where everybody starts to hate you, and you have to work for years. Yeah, you you get, were, they call that being Sammed? Yeah, that's right. Oh. Sam, you were beloved as young Sam when? from the O&A show. I don't know about that. Early I don't on. Think so. Oh, early on, Sam was beloved. E-Rock Army took off. That's what happened. E-Rock Army took off. <laughs> Fucking threw you under the bus. I guess so. Yeah. Oh, man. And, and look Travis, what's happened. Travis has kind of stayed out of it. He's smart. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, behind the scenes. <laughs> and now look, but look at that. Oh, that's Biggest yeah. photo. Biggest photo. Oldest ride, <laughs> longest line. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, sir. <laughs> you, think, uh, you think you're going to be a little more out there now? No. No. <laughs> no. I want to do Once that. Once Jim starts thinking that my name's stupid again. Oh, then it'll all be over. You think that I always thought your name was stupid? Yes. And just... <laughs> I've been saying Teft things for a long time. No. One. I've used Teft many times over the years. It just never caught on. Unique name. One day it just caught fire. Everybody understood at the same time. This yeah. name has to be exploited. And uh, there and it is. And it has. Now. Yeah. We do, we do see it now. What, uh, what, what are you doing? Do you meeting with, like, management over there? Do you still yeah. have to do that? No. You don't? No. No. 
Are you, uh, he's probably going for a raise now. No. This whole oh, test thing. Hey, have you heard my name? Yeah. I hear, this, I hear the company has some extra money. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard they, uh, yeah, they've heard they do. Yeah. Oh, jeez, that's got to hurt. I'm just saying, you know. By the way, sure. you must love, like, this whole thing that's happened. Because here's what's happened. Like, all the hostility is taken on. There's, there's, all the hostility is in her. And then Ants just now, somehow... Anthony Cumia became Switzerland. I where just fucking <laughs> Ant yeah. is just friends with everybody. I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, t- I'll tell you how it happened. No black people in Switzerland. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, well, yeah, I know. It's it's kind of just worked out. I sure I'll do your show. I'll do your show. I thought I wasn't welcome on the platform. I'll do everything. Oh show. no, all one big happy family. Yeah. Right? Not how it works. Yeah. What about the timing? Coincidental. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Whatever. We t- right. I talked with Opie. We got a phone call, two phone calls. Yeah. We're good. We discussed a few things. Yeah. He heard stuff from my show. I heard stuff from his show. It's, it's whatever, you know. Water under the bridge. It came out that I was sending that text to Jimmy. I would have been shocked <laughs> to read a text with the C word in it. <laughs> my word. My stars. I, I my an immediate return to sender. Yes, my please. horror. My horror when I hit send and saw the name on top wasn't Jim. It was Opie, and I just went like, oh, shit. And then, and then there's this hope that maybe technology won't work. Maybe I can turn my phone off. That right? time. And, and then, because Opie's sitting right there, and I'm over here. And then I just see his phone go, boop, boop. No, he's he's picking it up. He's like, this is it. He looked at it, looks at me. Did you think to distract him? <laughs> <laughs> hey, real quick. I know you can't see this. You're not looking at me, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I was, uh, yeah. Well, I remember. Whatever. I think that I remember yeah. being in studio that day and just watching it all go down in slow motion. Like, oh no. It was confusing when why it started. Why can't they just get along for like one day? Like, hey? just please. Just what? No, don't do the. And then I think E Rock was panicking because he had to play the opening music like seven. No, I was on the board. Row. What'd you go? Oh, to? I think we just played best of. Right. You just yeah, yeah. Went yeah. into yeah. best of. Yeah. Did we ever come back that day? Uh, nope. No. <laughs> Not then. <laughs> oh, that was it. Not after. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. But we took the rest of the day off. Yeah. Well, he went home. He left. Didn't you and I continue the show we or no? Did. I thought we did the show. I think me and Jimmy. Well, maybe that was another time. Yeah, it might have been. Riley's time. When I, oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you I know what? You might that, be. I didn't get weighted on quickly enough, sarcastically. Yeah. But, oh, but you know, but it's water under the bridge is the point. It's all water Absolutely. under the bridge now. Absolutely. Absolutely. Chappaquiddick. <laughs> <laughs> We're all good. Right. Everything. And, yeah, I'm welcome. You're welcome. Right. He's welcome. We're all welcome. That's you true. had a great call. Oh, lucky. We're not welcome in the afternoon. No? No. No. <laughs> not yet, anyway, but time, you what know. About time on, heals. Uh, what uh, about Bennington? We're welcome on Bennington. Sure, I would hope so. Come on, Bennington show. Better be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, Yvonne fucking knows what's good. Yvonne doesn't fuck Yvonne around. Yvonne must be really having fun with everything that's gone on. All the drama happening. Ron yeah. loves watching other people's drama. <laughs> I commenting on it like some sage. There's nothing worse than when something happens on the radio show and you turn Benny to and you hear ah you're like ah uh. uh. <laughs> Yeah, he had a good time talking about it. was very funny. The, uh, yeah, very he did funny. the gossip, uh, Ron. Oh, gossip. he went on for about 15 minutes. Straight. Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. Anthony, he was. But then Opie he said, just kept going on and on with it. It was fucking fantastic. Yeah, it was a That's shit Ronnie. show. That's Ronnie Bay. I'm glad that your all wounds are healed. Yes. Well, you know, it might, it might need a few maggots in them to eat out the rot uh. like in the old days. Yeah, maybe. But um, for the most part, yeah. I think we're over the hump. Yeah. You know? Good. Sure. <clears throat> but you forget a lot of times that the hump just gets rebuilt. It's just a new well, hump. Yeah. That's not going to happen. Gets uh, built. Do you, do you see anybody in the halls? Do you, do you see anyone from? And how did the camps split up? Like, E-Rock is over there? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so is uh, Paul and Kenny. But there's no camps with those guys. So Kenny right. last night. And uh, still and friendly with Kenny. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. New guy, Lewis. Who's Lewis? He, uh, He's an you wouldn't, you black wouldn't guy. like him. 
Why is that? Oh. <laughs> no. Oh. You remember Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> no. Lewis started uh, the, like the day after you got fired. Like, what happened? Guys? Yeah, oh and he, he was so excited to meet you. Oh. And really? now, yeah. Now he might, though. Yeah. He's ilk. Mm-hmm. It's true. Excited to meet me? Oh, I yeah. thought you guys knew each other. Yeah, he was cool. Yeah. He was good. He was uh, a good guy. So he's like still him. there. He is. Yeah, yeah. no, everybody's been, nobody. It's fine. Fuck. No one I could care less. Yeah, yeah. It's really? Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, he's Ope snipped a little bit. I snipped a little bit. But it was nothing. You know, and a lot of the fans want to see an all-out war. Uh, and hard. You know how it is. I mean, I would, too, if I was I've seen a lot of fans that want to see, like, you know, uh, peace and togetherness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do. There are that, those, too. There are ones that just want to see. You know. I can't just unload on somebody or, or they unload on me for no reason. You know, it's, it's one of those things where it would have to be justified or feel justified. Yeah. Right now. Yeah, I got you. And all the staffs are like, like I pay attention to what the staff is, but they all like share the same offices still. Yeah, like, it's all just the same. Yeah. You're right, Aunt is Switzerland. Somehow, yeah. Yes. I, well, I've managed to uh, stay pretty unscathed with a lot of people. You said destroy everything wrong. <laughs> 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 I've managed, uh, I've managed to stay friendly with everybody. I, I don't think I've ever burnt many bridges. A couple. One, uh, yeah. Danny Fuck Dick Ross. I mean, I've, what did happen? As, as, as a, as a person, <laughs> middle name? Like you have to, Travis and me and people who were there for the whole thing. Yeah. Want nothing? I, we could give two shits about your your drama with any of your co-hosts or whatever. Right. All we want is for there to be a Danny show. Oh God! <laughs> what did happen with Never that? Never happened. All of a sudden, you guys are going after each other I on Twitter. I have no idea. I honestly have no idea. All I could get from the there was a I got a phone call uh, in like last November, about a year ago, um, from so, somebody was saying that Danny was. Bad mouthing me and saying that I'm stalking him and that I've done things to him. Why would you do that? To, exactly. Bro, get a life. Yeah, you know seriously. what I mean? You gotta how, do they, how do they spell the name? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> There's two different spellings. I, uh, yeah. uh, no, there, there, so so I, I, I had it, and I, I called Danny up. I called him. I said, what, the, what is this? You, you're saying that I'm stalking you? I've done things. I've interfered with his relationship with a girl. I've threatened his and her life. Why did you do that? Know. Yeah. Now, see, I didn't. Okay. You mentioned your own shit, you know? Yeah, but I didn't. You called him. That's stalking. I didn't. No, okay. I called to address this false stalking. Hey, Danny, okay. I just showed up at your house to let you know I'm not stalking yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not stalking. <laughs> yes. So he's this committee owes Anthony an apology. <laughs> <laughs> so he starts... Uh, Coming up with this story that uh, he, this girl he was going out with said that she was getting stalked, having dead animals sent to her, and they, and then they they uh, she realized she was in a restaurant, <laughs> <laughs> skinned headless cooked chicken. Yeah. What is this chicken wing with the spicy sauce? Me, <laughs> he's bringing me dead animals, and and, and this girl uh, was saying that I. Or, or she got an investigator to find out who was doing this. And they traced a, a phone card that was bought at a CVS to a store near my house. And the surveillance camera showed my vehicle. And it was you. Yeah. Ah. Oh, Put that glove on. Let's see. So, ooh. <laughs> yeah, somebody bought condoms and child balloons. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Use the child balloons fork. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. They, so, so he goes. You mean to tell me, uh, an investigator uh, and a lawyer didn't stop by and question you? I'm like, what are you talking? No. He was convinced that this woman had all this info and evidence, and sent a lawyer and an investigator to my house to interview me. You think he lied? She lied to him about something? I have no idea. I no. I don't think. I think he's insane. Oh. I think he's gone fucking insane. So I, 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 I'm talking to him and trying to convince him. I'm like, you don't, I go, I, I haven't even thought about 
you in a long time. You don't come up. You know, he's like, yeah, well, I heard shit that, you know, you got Keith and he's able to do stuff and knows people that can just unbelievable paranoia. I'd love to know what stuff Keith is supposed to be able to do. Right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Since he retired, I got to fucking do the speed limit. <laughs> Terrible. He, uh, so I, I just, he was going crazy with this paranoid bullshit. And I finally got him after an hour on the phone to think, to at least give me the benefit of the doubt that I wasn't doing it. And I had him, I had to talk him slowly into giving me the girl's name, who this was, because I wanted to fucking call her and say, what are you saying? Like, is this, couldn't find hiding her hair of this girl that he gave me the name. Oh, of. it's not the girl that you knew. No, I didn't know this way. Oh. The girl that he said he was going out with. He said he was being threatened at his house so much, and it got so bad that he had to move to San Diego. Maybe it was some asshole saying it was Anthony. Maybe it was, you know what I mean? Maybe it was something like that. You know what? If, if, if that's the case, again, give me the benefit of the doubt that I'm not fucking stalking Danny Ross. Gives a flying fuck <laughs> about Danny. And his shenanigans you over the You sit years. on the couch for hours and watch television. All I do! You do have... I have time? You think I have time? You have no dedication. Seinfeld? Yeah. And all the... start fucking stalking someone? In all the years of you and Danny hanging out, did he, had he seen you stalking other people and putting that kind of energy in? Never. <laughs> yeah, that would be, be kind of the, like stalking prep. He and should know better. And he, he kind of uh, uh, told me uh, in so many words... He was very upset with me inviting, like, listeners over the house for parties and stuff. He was mad at you. He got mad at me. A little jealous. Talk about Bobo? A little jealous. And this was, you well, this, Bobo, Bobo this could be you. one of them. No, no, I'm not. But it's like this everybody. Is this it's is Fred, you. I have Fred from Brooklyn. Bobo. Dennis. I, I have nothing Big to do with a. I have it's nothing to guys. do with Dan. Shut I have the to do fuck up. <laughs> Yeah. It's probably it's Bobo. All those guys. That's Bobo right there. Yeah. And meanwhile, the they've been my friends oh, for years. Know. All those guys. It's not just listeners come over my house. Right. These guys that that have been coming over and playing poker and at my parties have been my friends now for years. It's not like, oh, Danny got upset because I'm, I'm inviting these outsiders in. He got a little jelly oh. of the situation. Oh. And uh, just... Cut me off. He's like, that's it. You know, I, I don't want to go over there anymore. Uh, uh, what am I going to hang out with fucking Big A? Yeah. No, I say fun. that, too. Like, what am I going <laughs> to But that was like his thing. He was, hey, that's my man you're talking about. <laughs> don't knock him. Jamaica. Him lost a lot of weight. <laughs> I'm sure him going to find it again. <laughs> <laughs> what you got in the bag, Andrew? What's in the bag? Water. Just water. It's a bag full of water. <laughs> That's it, a bag full of water. That's why me no like him. The man carry a bag full of water. <laughs> See, put him out by the fountain, stupid. <laughs> you a bag of water? Yeah, him go to the ocean and say, don't take my water. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, this is Mike from Tennessee wants to uh, ask you a gentleman a question. Mike? A good <laughs> afternoon to all of you gentlemen. Oh, oh, and a good afternoon to you. Oh, the new vernacular's catching on, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. I was uh, listening to the replay this morning, and can you guys cut the shit? There's no way you believe that that candy man is dumping five loads a day. And I don't know. We had the candy man in. Candy man. Candy man. <laughs> the candy no man came in. I, I don't know if he's dumping. I don't care if he's dumping five loads a day. I do believe this. I do believe he's really rich, and I do believe he's married to that girl, and I do believe he gets to fuck all those girls. So if there's a little bit of embellishment, it doesn't bother me because the truth, like the really impressive part, is that he's hanging out and fucking all those amazingly beautiful women, and he's got a shitload of money, and he's got a, a mansion. So the Australian Hugh Hefner. Yeah. yeah. He's the Australian Hugh Hefner. Yeah. He's the candy man. Is his name Corey? <laughs> yes. That's how you build a mansion. Yes. That's how you blow five loads a day. <laughs> now, we had him in. They were pretty girls. And four of his girlfriends. How hot were they? Oh, my God. Really? Yeah. Australian? Yeah. Yeah, that accent and stuff? Oh, yeah. yeah. All a bunch of hot brunettes. I was oh. like, why don't you hug me like a koala? Ah, did they? No. <laughs> I didn't think so.
<laughs> yeah, but he said he, he's like, he's like, well, I've got, you know, five women here. Good accent. Yeah, it's well, not, yeah it's good. Not, <laughs> oh, that's him right there. Oh, man, who's the chick? No, the chicks. There's two chicks. of them. Chicks. That's his wife. There's two of them. Put that's those beepers on. God. There's another one back yeah. there. <laughs> he looks very um, Australian. Well, he used yeah, to play he, Aussie Rules football. Yeah, that's crazy. He's an alpha. He was a model. Like, he's a guy who just fucks a lot of tens. That's what he does. Oh, my God. He said he doesn't masturbate. W- would doesn't you? When he got a pussy right there. Right. Yeah. But you know what? We got out of him. He didn't say this confirmed, but we're pretty sure he eats ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's, uh, from that, I get all he talked about was his love of eating ass. No, Not no. at all. Oh, really? He said, we, I asked him, and he said, he said that that was a mystery, but we all in the room with him right oh, there. He was like, no, so. that's a secret. That's yeah. Why would that be the big secret? We all said there's no way you're not. Oh, there he is. They were hot. His wife's on the far end towards us right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Zip up my sweatshirt. Bad boy. <laughs> wow. And what's his deal? Like, why? He's, is, a, he's, a, what's he's pushing his brand and his, his whole brand of, of this. Uh, the Candy Man. He really is like a, a well known guy in Australia. The Candy Man is very popular. He made a lot of money modeling, and then he made a ton more money in property. No, I didn't. And he, not you. Oh. And he owns. Uh, <laughs> His family owns a big uh, tobacco company. It's like a two hundred fifty million dollar tobacco company. Yeah, and so he's got. He's this... doing the world good. Right, I agree. <laughs> he justified it on the air. He was like, "We just think people should have the freedom to choose to do it." And Jim and I were just like, "Yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah, course. no." But I don't disagree. I'll deal in death. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll sell death. <laughs> a little pinch between your cheek and gums. Yeah, gives you cancer. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He's, we're hot. Uh, like the alpha male right there. Yeah. So you two to shame. Those chicks wouldn't tell us what he was packing, though. Yeah, this man, he have a mansion. I marry a man who told me he had a castle. I didn't know he was the Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> the castle was white. Yeah. <laughs> him, him crown was made of paper. <laughs> Look at the you have a bag of water. Bag of water. I thought there was gold and jewels in the bag. <laughs> Turns out he was thirsty. There was just water in the bag. He put it to him dumb mouth. I said, what you doing? He said, drinking. I said, you're drinking my jewelry. <laughs> I wonder why there was a straw sticking out of the bag. I asked him, but he couldn't say the word. He said, there's a straw. A straw. I said, go ahead. Drink the ring, stupid. <laughs> Uh, what's Bobo mumbling about over there? No, I said, why, why, why the heck do you want me to ruin Caribbean Jimmy? Nobody said that. Well, then why did you? Yeah. It's like a paradox. <laughs> that? No, because you gave me that That's look Bobo. like I it's had Bobo. to say something. Uh, Matt, Matt, you got a question for uh, Travis Teft? <laughs> yeah, Matt, what are yeah. you laying in front of a door? Oh, good one. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Fuck oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did I say thank you? Yes, you did. Pardon me. It's my new funny thing where I make word mistakes. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. Good also, one. Jim, Very tefty. Jim was so uh, happy with that joke that he stole it from Chip. Oh, <laughs> that was, yeah. Joke and Jim snatched it. Good one. I did, yeah, that was a Chipperson. Sometimes you think uh, the Chip ones kind of are good enough to bring over. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Sometimes yeah. Chip is a little too clever for his own. <laughs> 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 I love that. Yeah, sometimes you, you tweet something you think is pretty well thought out, and not a joke or something, and people go, tuh, tuh, tuh. <laughs> No, it's not a fucking chip joke, you asshole. This is, I fucking thought of this. Oh, you're trying to be serious? Like, you yeah, know, yeah. I don't know. It's a tough debate. <laughs> no, you say. Dick bag. Tough. What are you fucking lifting weights? Fuck song? yeah. <laughs> you want to ask uh, Travis to head? He's a garbage. Yeah, I had, a, I had a question for Travis and then one for Ant, too. Um, for Travis, uh, what's it like going from being stuck in the tough box every day to being front and center and the star of the show? <clears throat> it's just ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. The, what, the um, popularity, the ridiculous. crowds? Is it a little <laughs> overwhelming? Yeah, yeah. I don't. I mean, I can't walk down the street anymore. Oh, oh, yeah. You got people screaming Taft. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Taft. <laughs> Making references to your family tragedies. <laughs> the two Fs really make that name. Yeah, absolutely. Yelling to not be so. You know, tasty. the character he plays on the show is one F. <laughs> That's true. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah. yeah, that's good. Doesn't mix up your personal life with your professional. Did you see the opening credits to the show? No. We have a sitcom open. Oh my god, it's amazing. A sitcom open. Yes, yeah, somebody did it. Some fan. 
Um, real show. It's, it's a real show. It's a real. It's a real movie, Jeff. You have the boys find it. <laughs> real film. Yeah, why don't you go out there and show them how yeah, to do yeah, computer go into work? Mission control. Keep of, your hat backwards. Looks young. <laughs> when should the hat make its return to the front? When you're after the age of eight. Eight, <laughs> eight years old. Like every nine-year-old and above should. Yeah, I yeah. That way you know who's who. It's uh. Oh, oh, <laughs> is that why? Yeah, you don't. Know. Oh shit! Don't give rights to old people. <laughs> The second the brim hits your belly button, you know it's time to send them off on their way. Yeah, I got a really, really bad bladder. That (laughs) rim hits, I start tankling all over myself. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. Bobo, you remember Jim? Of course I remember Jimmy. And Jim, you remember Bobo now? He doesn't. I mean, he, he looks kind of familiar. He does look kind of familiar. I'm not bullshitting. Mets, sure, because he's a Mets fan. You remember that? <laughs> no recollection. Mets fan. The official Mets fan for this. Oh, yeah, the official Mets the fan of one. Compound Media, right. yes. If only he knew uh, Sorry, he what position Lenny Dykstra play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Some idiot say something about Lenny Dykstra playing that, in the wrong position? Oh. That was Bobo. That's where I see that. That was yeah. Bobo. Oh, yeah, and yeah. yeah he's that a fi- woman I didn't see the question clearly. Yeah. In I didn't middle hear the of City clearly. Field in a car. Let me tell you something. I didn't hear oh, little details in that Don't blame question. the woman. That was Alexa Dat. She's the stadium reporter. She's a great broadcaster. She's that known was. for crystal clear speech. Oh, she is. I was nervous that caster. moment. A broadcaster is so I was nervous bad. that <laughs> moment. Lady caster. Lady caster. I was nervous. I was nervous. And wrong. I was nervous that I didn't hear the entire question oh, clearly. Oh, oh, yes, of course. You just, nervous. 30 questions. To, 30, 30 seconds. Opening. Yeah. 30 Where's seconds to answer all Thank three you, of those Bobo. questions. Thank you, Bobo. Thank you. Where's the uh, sitcom opening? I, I, I got to see this. I believe the boss is demanding it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do my ears deceive me? I demand. Sounds like the boss. There it is. And I didn't see how good you were for me. That was terrible. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> With the one F. Yeah. Right. I'm the real life Travis oh, had the I one F. I didn't catch that. I didn't catch that. Oh, yeah, that was great. You get the, and as yeah, it was part of my deal. Wait, is it one F? But the, you're playing Teft with two. Yes. that's yeah. genius. I yes. did not even catch I that. Oh my gosh! Yes, I can, I, well, yes. that's because that is a, a perfect uh, '80s yeah. sitcom. Oh, By the way, we haven't. We need to do that tomorrow. I mean, we do a lot of bits on the show. We haven't done Teft Box Live. That's fine. Oh, we got to do a Teft Box Live. Is great. That is Teft Box Live. <laughs> it's a replacement for a Septic Tank Live. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a kind of a viral phenomenon on yeah. our Facebook page where uh, while we're doing the show, we uh, take one of the phones and we do Facebook Live, but we just point it at Travis. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Tef Box. Tef Box. Tef Box. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the, the stu- you know, the producer studio? Yes. It's been renamed the Tef Box. It's not oh, even the it, Tef Box. Yeah. So it's live from the Tef Box. That was not my call, by the way. I have to say, I think I, I, one of us said it, but that was not, that, that was a, uh, a Reddit concoction, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Travis has embraced it. Yes, he has. I mean, not really, but... He calls his house the Tef Box anyway. It just happened to leak. Uh, no. That's what he calls his wife. <laughs> oh, oh. oh! She's a wonderful lady. I know she is. Oh, she is a great gal. Great gal. Oh, terrible. <laughs> it does fit, though. Right, right, are, uh, right. When you're right, you're right. Yeah, she's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I, I wanted to ask Travis something about Kid, after all. Hold on. It's true. So, yeah. Oh, fuck. Well, what would you want to ask? What was it relating to? <laughs> uh, oh, are you going to, uh, uh, at the end of the year or something, now that you're very popular and stuff, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe try to negotiate a little more money? Oh, you got to, dude. Yeah. have to. You know what a great I'm... strategy is? Hold out right till the bitter end uh-huh. before you sign. Yep. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I don't, I don't have a contract. You should do that. Ah, well. To have him get you one. <laughs> you want to ask for one. Where's, where's your contract? Your contract? Where's my contract? <laughs> you just you don't have a contract over there. No, none of you. We could just fire you at any moment. Yeah. Why you I saying? had a contract and they did anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it doesn't mean shit. Quite frankly, I love when you like like we work for you without a contract for many years. Like yeah. I did not know this. Yeah, not me. Lot. I always I had, had a contract. contract. No, none I'm of the staff. an employee. Of Serious XM yes. Satellite Radio. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Be there at the pleasure. Them to do what they want with. What they could send you over to like fucking eighties on eight. They could. But they would. Effed it up. Yeah. Effed it up a little bit. Instead of eighties on eight, they ought to have fifty sevens on six. (laughs) (laughs) That would be just songs from nineteen fifty seven on channel six. No. (laughs) I don't think that would. Although I wouldn't put it past them over there sometimes. Their decision making is no. 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 Song, no, you know? no music. How's Danny doing? Oh, Danny. Danny's, Danny's nice. good. Danny is Danny. life. I like Danny. And he thinks he's coming on. Really? Yeah. What would he do? Uh, I could have him spin some music like he did over at the he's old He's not booked show. to come on? He thinks he is. Everybody on, like, like the whole, like, they were just like, I don't remember who it was in your office, but they were like, oh, I don't think you're too special for doing Ant Show because Danny's booked. He's been telling everybody he's yeah. booked to do the show. I haven't heard this. And there was this rumor that we had a rift with Denny. He's this, it's not true. There was a beef with us and Denny, but it's been squashed. Beef yeah. with Denny? What could possibly happen between anyone and Denny? There's not, there, nobody has a beef with Denny. Make a problem. No. It's interest. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, it's just, you would be like, this isn't even worth my time. Yeah, right. Yeah, sometimes he pokes his head under the door. We say hello. I'm always happy to see him. <laughs> always happy to say hello to Denny. He's a lovely man. How are man. the people uh, across the hall over there at uh, Shade? Shade? Station. Same, yeah. It's called Shade. the Black Station. Shade 45. Shade 45. Eminem's a white rapper. Yeah. Oh. Named after him, Slim Shady. That's relevant. <laughs> that what that's named after? It sure is. Oh, trivia. Yeah. Huh. Very relevant. Well, the real <laughs> Slender Shady, please stand up if oh, you remember that one. <laughs> How's that, though? Are they still partying on Fridays and stuff? Or? Uh, Yeah, a little Space bit. show is a regular morning show, though. It's, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Heather B. sometimes brings in food, I guess. But oh. They used to bring the bottles in. And- yeah, but I mean... See, when I was doing at night, that's when. That's when it got being a little across crazy. the hall from Shade 45. You remember, Adrian? You bring the I mean, whores in. Oh, my God. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But did you get any benefit or they just banging the guys at Shade? What good's that to you? Yeah. We're on the radio. It was it, they weren't oh, okay. fucking them in the city. Some of that chocolate? <laughs> no. I, well, no, there were. Every now and then we'd get some bitches and rappers coming in. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'd get, I, run off from Shade 45. Run off. Yeah. <laughs> I have a black girl who sends me pictures of her ass sometimes, and it's so perfect. And she's like, I just want to smother your white face. The flotus? <laughs> no. <laughs> the flotus? Yeah, no, it's not the flotus. The other day I, I said the, the, the potus and the flotus can lick my scrotus. <laughs> oh, I man. Don't like them. I, I understood. <laughs> <laughs> flotus? What's it, a parade of some shiznit? Yeah, fuck yeah. Shiznit. <laughs> shiznit. Oh. <laughs> just... Wants to be so cool. You know, like, <laughs> he wants to be one of the kids. Oh. He's got a hole in his shirt. You know, football season's in full swing. <laughs> Are you playing to win? Maybe you're headed out to Vegas this weekend and uh, plan on making things more interesting while you're out there. But before you hop on a plane, make sure you check out BetDSI.com. What are you going to do? You're going to go out to Vegas, right? You're going to go to the sports book and say, Hello. Oh, uh, I'll bet on the football game. With and the then ball. you go, I don't know what team, what, what the team with the blue uniform. Yep. And then you lose because you don't know shit. BetDSI.com. They've been around since 1998. They're the A-plus rated sports book. Originates many of the odds you see for a lot of the sports and events happening right here in the good old U.S. of A. BetDSI.com offers odds on all major sports with a focus on the NFL, but also everything else that's happening. How about the presidential election? He just... He just walks out. <laughs> Who told you to walk up here? Nobody. <laughs> no one. I just hear you. You're you're in the middle of a, a live read. Yeah. Who's the hairy armed idiot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe the presidential election. What's happening on reality uh, reality TV? The Oscars. I didn't even know it was about. You can fucking find out the odds on the Oscars. Celebrity happenings. If there's something happening in the world, betdsi.com has experts. Building the odds. Before you place a bet, check out BetDSI.com. They set the odds. And if you want to win, check them out. It's a fun place to play. And BetDSI built a solid reputation on winning from both novices and professionals. It's BetDSI.com. That's B-E-T-D-S-I.com. Available on all desktop and mobile platforms. Easy to use, fun to play, or even just explore. And if you want to check it out, enter the promo code COMPOUND10. That's COMPOUND and the number 10. Don't spell 10. Compound 10. And you get some free credits there, Maggie, for yourself uh, just for registering. BetDSI.com. Use promo code Compound 10. Don't forget, promo code Compound 10 for your free credits. Thank you, BetDSI.com. Garbage. 
<laughs> Bubba, what are you doing? I guess I guess they assume I'm the water bottle retriever, empty water bottle retriever. Why don't you open that window and jump? <laughs> <laughs> How I wish. Uh, <laughs> how's it been keeping Bobo this whole time? It's I know. Who did you guys get, really? Uh, yeah, you had Lady Di, but she's like fucking. No, nobody does. Yeah. No one, is she dead? No. no. Almost? No, she's <laughs> fucking on a Navy ship pulling a Captain Quig. <laughs> <laughs> she, because last I, I heard, she was in real bad shape. But that's all I know. Yeah, what no. About, she... we, I get Stalker Patty every so often. Do you ever get Stalker Patty? I don't know. I don't know yeah. who did you guys get because nobody was coming up. Yeah. I had to build my own gang of idiots. Build your own gang. Yeah, we got uh, stunt brain. Oh, you got stunt brain. Sure. And we got. Um... That's it, huh? Yeah, I'm trying to think. Stunt who brain. else? Who else? Uh... I got Bobo. Well, he's right there. And yeah, Big A. I got Big A. Yeah, Big A. Pat from Munaki I haven't seen. I haven't seen Pat either. I love Pat. Pat kind of uh, what happened to him. Disappeared. Why? I don't know. I think it was that whole situation. What situation? Uh, it was a girl thing that went on. Uh, Brought a girl to my Oh, house. yeah, when she right. freaked, got mad, got into a fight? Well, that wasn't so much that somebody else kind of wheeled out with the yeah. girl. Oh, he liked the girl and somebody else dated her. Well, he brought the girl to my house, which, by the way, is a terrible mistake Yeah, <laughs> on, on that part. Uh, so he brings her to the house, and she's kind of fucking crazy and really like you know pretty sexy but fucking bad shit nuts yeah and she gets kind of hammered and starts throwing shit at people and getting a little crazy and then a guy that was there decided he was going to move in make some moves and he did and pat's left out in the cold oh. i don't know what pat thought was happening and like i said you don't fucking you know hey, hey, look at this big steak let me take it in the lion pit <laughs> it's gonna be bad yeah it's gonna work yeah. So he doesn't come back? So I haven't seen him in, in a while. I don't know if that's it. I, that's I two like and a half, three years. I also have um, I have a Steve from Bayshore. Yeah, oh, yeah. I have yeah. Steve from Bayshore. Yeah, that was yeah. two goddamn years ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's Pat's birthday today. What? Uh, according to his Twitter. Pat from Unaki's birthday. Happy birthday, Pat from Unaki. And he's watching because he posted a picture with uh, Travis. Oh, whoops. Aww. Sorry about the story, Pat. <laughs> I, I left the names out to, you know, protect the uh, guilty. What is he doing? He's bringing donuts to people that are on the air. You have jelly on your thumb. Didn't that happen on, on your show once? Where Yes, you had jelly on your thumb. I wish it was a trigger. <laughs> That's jelly leaking from your temple. It's getting smarter by the second. <laughs> Did, didn't that? <laughs> <laughs> so, what happened? The donuts are gone. Yeah. What's going to happen? Where's the donuts? Them? Keith just the window. picked up the donuts <laughs> and threw them out the fucking window. Oh. I can only imagine the street below. <laughs> Bobo, you look dismayed. <laughs> Damn, not to mention disjoined. I spent $7 on <laughs> Well, that's coincidence because a lot of people spent seven dollars to watch this show. <laughs> ah! I don't want to see you just walking up with fucking donuts. That's that's fair. No, Hold on, he doesn't seem hangry. What happened? Uh, what's your name? His name's Bobo. You okay, Bob? Bobo? I spent seven dollars to buy go through the trouble of getting donuts. It yeah. Was trouble? How much trouble? Yeah. He's like, Did you have, have to fight your way into the donut place? <laughs> what happened, Bob? Somebody no. messed up the donuts? No, Bobo. I, I didn't want to spend seven dollars. It's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. That's a lot of cake. Uh, how many? Uh, how much is bus fare? Bus fare is almost five dollars for two ways. Did I get a donut? I'll have a donut. Twelve bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the donuts? Did I mean, you eat them? For, for, for two ways. Can we get some donuts? He's a little fucking annoyed. Did you eat the donuts? I'll have one. a no. little fucking annoyed with you, kid. Can I have one? Uh, the donuts got thrown out. What do you mean they're not thrown out? out? I didn't throw them out. Uh, Keith just grabbed them and threw them in the you street. You think they're okay? <laughs> in the street. Why don't you go down and bring them back up? Go get I the couldn't do that. Some bum probably grabbed them already. Yep. You keep these donuts in your pocket like so many nickels and dimes. <laughs> you know, Bobo, if they're still in the box, they're still good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe they landed 
on the bottom of the box. Yeah, in the box. No, yeah, sometimes, sometimes your toast falls better side up. <laughs> I wouldn't take anything from a, that, okay. that landed on a floor in the middle of 34th Street. That's an important Street. distinction not to make at this the, moment. Not with the guy we have as mayor now. Oh, uh, whoa. No, all right. right. I didn't know we are going to get political. Political. Not all political. Can I get a donut, though? Seriously. Yeah, I could use a donut. I don't have them all out. Would you eat them? No, they got tossed out. For $7, would you eat one? Oh. Uh, oh, you call embarrassing in front of my friends. You don't want to act up. I probably could even find them. What do you mean could one... find them? They're right down there. I didn't, yeah, uh, some fly. Yeah, exactly, Carlo Rizzi. Where's the donuts? <laughs> I'd probably fly. I'd probably get end up with some disease or something. Well, oh, too late. All right. I'm a little bummed. I forgot to bring five dollars to get a photo with Bobo. Ah, uh, yes, Bobo. You were charging five dollars at City Field to take pictures with you? No, that was a joke I was making at Comic Con. It wasn't a joke. No, it, wasn't it, a joke. It, it was actually was a joke. I was making fun of Comic Con. Did you did you accept somebody's five dollars for a picture? No one uh, paid me $5. I said it was optional. Did you walk away with $5 from anyone for taking a picture that day? No. Oh. Because nobody wanted a picture. No one wanted a picture. There was people that wanted pictures, but they didn't give me the $5. Shit, the right. signed the incredible Bobo. <laughs> no one gave me $5. Same reason why Virgil walks away with nothing. Virgil, it's not because he's not yes. charging for anything. Oh. You gave him a little more life for a second. For I did. I, re- I, I brought him back. He was one of my, he became one of my Sam Roberts show weirdos. Yes. Yeah. How <laughs> odd is that? Very strange. Yeah, things happen. Yeah. Did E-Rock uh, ever tell him how mad he was at him for signing his <laughs> million-dollar belt? We never get to have that confrontation, uh, but that's not to say it won't happen. That's got to happen. Because you're right about that. I want to see fucking E-Rock just lay into Virgil about signing the million-dollar belt. No, I didn't ask you to sign that. <laughs> <laughs> he was so annoyed. I would have loved to have been there to see annoyed E-Rock yeah. as Virgil just uh, signed. What are you doing? I would love to have signed it after. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You would have seen me crying laughing. You would have laughed? Oh, yeah. What are you laughing at? And then turn around and just see the L in Virgil being <laughs> You would have laughed if you oh, saw the. Oh, my. I would have oh, been, yeah. I, I never would have stopped. It was so great. <laughs> it would have been the greatest memory I had. <laughs> uh, don't forget, people, uh, at uh, 9 o'clock tonight, <laughs> uh, we will be here, right here, live, uh, with the debates. Yeah, and I'm watching the debates. For, well,. See, we're going to put it on. Oh. And then we're You're debating we're down there in the corner. Who are you, Hillary? No, I'm not debating. Is Ric Flair going to be here? Ric Flair or, or Wake Wacky Wacky. What's the guy's Wacky name? Wacky. Is it the yeah. Waka Waka Waka? Wake a Flake a Flack. Get Wake me a uh, Flake a Woo! Yeah. Get me a flame. There it is. We got our patriotic background. That's and funny. let me tell you, I believe the blacks should. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> Wait, let me do a little bit of debate for a while. Oh, go ahead, Jimmy. No, put the flag. Look, we're going to be uh, stars and stripesing. Um, some will disagree, some won't agree, but, we, you know, it's all with fun. It's not all with fun. This is our life, our country we're talking about here. Woo! <laughs> Oldest ride, longest line. <laughs> Woo! What a dumb thing to come up with to say. Space Mountain. Space Mountain. See, riding Space Mountain meant having sex with Ric Flair. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I got you. His dick is Space Mountain. I've I've asked girls to stick their fingers in Space Mountain. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Jesus Christ. (laughs) Okay. Yeah, I still got You all right? Cough. Yeah, from back in three years ago. It's pertussis. It just (laughs) keeps going. Pertussis. Pertussis. Yeah, pertussis. Give you pertussis. Pertussis. Um, Yeah, so we're going to be here uh, at 9 o'clock. Gavin McInnes, Pat Dixon, myself. Uh, of course, wonderful studio audience. I know you and Gavin are conservative, or lean conservative in a lot of ways. Is Pat conservative too? Uh, yeah. You guys got to get a, a, a left wing person on to chat. You know what? I think that was the good point. And then they'd go, I think that's the good point. And then everybody just has like a fun debate. If you want to see that angle, watch everywhere else. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> All right, it's a good point. We're here to just. Fucking shit. Last time we you watched got the, the second debate. line wrong. <laughs> <laughs> We're fabulous. Get used to us. We're here. We're... Uh, yeah. Uh, no, I, I. Last time it was like a football game. When, when Trump said, yeah, you, you know, when she was like, oh, it's a good right. thing you're not writing laws. It's like, yeah, you'd be in jail. And then he yeah. walks away. 
Yeah. Oh! We were like, we stood up, we're cheering like a fucking touchdown. It was like a football game. She come running in, and he threw the ball right at her cunt. <laughs> <laughs> that might be uh, what we see tonight. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to a n- nothing to lose Donald Trump. The first debate, remember the first one? He was kind of trying to be. He lost the first I'm one. I'm not even going to mention because. Chelsea is here. I'm not here. And then the second one, <laughs> I brought your whores. Yeah. I brought all your father's fuck toys. Yeah, Chelsea, smell your daddy's fingers. Yeah. <laughs> You'll smell this cunt. <laughs> and then this time, I think he knows, especially after everything that's happened, yeah. he's gone down in the polls. It looks pretty desperate. He might just go out there and just call her a cunt. Maybe. He's got to. Yeah. That'd be great. I think he has no to. humility. No, I bet no you, I, I bet you it's a mellow debate. Really? I, yep. I bet you neither one of them wants to make a critical fuck up here. No. See, Hillary's in that seat. She can't make a, a fuck up. She's got to be. Billary. He can fucking. So funny. And he's incapable of just standing there and not losing. Yeah, he can't help himself. Mind. Donald Trump he is, a, he him. is a fuck up. So he doesn't have to he worry about fucking himself. up. Yeah. He'll just stand there. She'll say something. The moderator will say something. I'll be like, hey, look at her. Hey, where's his cigar, you fucking Cock sucking, ho- he'll go off. <laughs> I, I, we, we don't know what to expect, but we'll be here at, at nine o'clock. Can you imagine if he called her a cunt? The, <laughs> the gasps from the crowd. <gasps> oh, 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 I can't. But you know how he'd do it. He'd go like, he'd look in the audience as if somebody had said something. Oh, no, you can't. Should I say, this person just said that. Hillary's a cunt. Hillary's that's a what they said, and that's not right. But am I wrong, people? Am I wrong? Like, trying to justify it after that. Hillary's just sitting there like, we do that. Hey, I've been doing my Trump impression. I'm oh, let's see. Hillary, you're uh, really stupid. It's Stallone? <laughs> that looks like a... Yeah, it's the look. Yeah, that's... Randy Travis? Is that Randy Travis? <laughs> oh, my God. Poor Randy Travis. What happened? Oh, we, oh, we played he, a little audio. He sang um, uh, yeah, A Gazing Maze. It was good. <laughs> he had a stroke three years. Oh, no. It was we're, very sad. People were mad that I was making fun of him. I got some <laughs> well, it, you, you can't be mad. It's oh. like it is what it is. It's, but it's still, it's, it is a sad thing, but that's it was funny. Very sad. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sometimes people should just. That's what I was saying. No way. Yes, of I, course. It's terrible, but wave hello. Let the song play in the background from when you could sing. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's it. Remember that? Well, one? he wanted to sing. It made him feel good. When my uh, what's his name? When Kirk Douglas came out. On yeah. The stage during one of the award shows. <laughs> I'm, and you're like, oh god, is he still alive? Yes, yeah. he is. How the fuck? He's a hundred. He's a hundred. He wrote a, a letter about oh, Trump. No, it's not good. Really can't God. hear it. Thank God we don't have sound. Yeah. All right. Bad. Bad. Oh, God. They're all standing up and clapping. I would not. I would have went, boo! God. <laughs> it sucks now. It even sound like the record. That emphatically? <laughs> very <laughs> angrily. Very let me, angrily. Let me see. End that again, please. I want to see the end of that again. I, I, I'm going to try to react oh properly. My, oh, jeez. All right. It's the end of it. Because they all clap. <laughs> Boo! Boo! <laughs> <laughs> you might not have been uh, looked at favorably. Yeah. By the crowd. Why is Rat... Here, I thought he quit like a year that ago. He's the worst. Constantly here. He really Why did is. he quit? I, no, I don't not know. Money. No, because Opie wouldn't let him on a show. All of a sudden, he comes crawling oh, back. That's oh. Oh. He was trying to get some heat with Opie. Hey, yeah, well, he called him right out. That fuck it. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> trying to pit one against he, the other. Does he regret quitting? <laughs> does he realize that was stupid? Well, he's here all the time. So right. That speaks volumes. Well, that's got to be great for you because you get him here and you don't even have to pay him anymore. I don't know. I don't know why he quit. Quite frankly, <laughs> it's he so quit to go on to something else. But that was coming here. Yeah, <laughs> and and using this studio apparently. What the hell was the, I? I saw the other day a picture of fucking that that fag from uh, Clay Aiken. Clay Aiken. Okay, that's I, I mean Clay that's Aiken doing probably better ways to show I did. Exactly, there's probably better ways to say it. Clay Aiken was sitting in my seat. I had to wipe the jizz off. <laughs> oh, Clay Aiken said the same thing. <laughs> 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 
what do they do? What was this? They do a morning show in your studio. They do? Yeah. They pay for it, too. Yeah, we, rent, we rent, rent it out studio. when you're not here. It's a lot of is fucking it? money. Is it really? Oofa. Nice. You know, per, per, for a couple hours? A couple hours. Well, it depends. If you want the full release. <laughs> 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 no, uh, no, it's, it's pretty economical how as did, far as studios go. How did Rat quit your network and be the guy <laughs> who produces the shows that yeah. rent your studio? Yeah. And, like, by the way, I was watching some of the shows, like, right as he was quitting, and he was completely abused on his way out and yes. treated like he was a piece of shit. And I was like, well, there's a guy who's not coming back. And he's why back would like you a week later. Him, why would you treat a piece of shit differently? I guess so. <laughs> that is true. What are you supposed to do, bronze it? Right? It's shit. <laughs> that, Neil deGrasse Tyson, he's wor- he was working with him. Yeah. Are you still working with him? Yeah. Oh, boy, that guy, Mr. Science. Works with me. He's oh. just such a smart space guy. Yeah, he knows so much about all Talking the stars and the weights and the distances. <laughs> Spacey stuff. How long would it take me to drive to Pluto? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see uh, Michio Kaku around anywhere? No, I don't live there anymore. Oh, so. that's right. You don't... Oh, hi, hi. Ah, <laughs> ah, ah. Scared Michio Kaku was... One of the greatest characters. I, I, I must look like a guy who molested him a lot. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Cog. <laughs> Probably wouldn't be a stretch. What the- <laughs> <laughs> little, little tiny Asian boy, Michio Kaku, just looking at the stars. Sure. That's why he likes the stars so much. I will yeah, look up at look the up. heavens. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and pretend there are not adult fingers in my backside. <laughs> I wonder what life is like on that planet. Yes. I wish there were little cookie people here with <laughs> adult fingers in my backside. <laughs> oh, shit. He has metaphors for everything because oh, yes. he can't cope with reality. Yes. Oh, look. He's making a little wormhole from the front of me to the back, to my backside with his adult <laughs> fingers. Much like how the universe works. Yes, yes. The fastest route is not around my buttocks. <laughs> it's through. Yes, and I bet you need a lot of electricity that feels much like the ring the man is wearing right now on his adult finger. <laughs> uh, so what, are the, what is their morning show like? What is Clay Aiken doing? It's like a morning Joe for millennials. It's for the youngins. Isn't he 40? Yes. Kind no of comment. millennial. I think he's a Gen Xer. There's three no one of you. You're not exactly lone. What network is it? Rangers. I don't know. Where it, it's, it? it's on a on a website. Oh, okay. Is it popular? It comes here and no, <laughs> no. How it will be watch? now. How many people watch people it? We're gonna look for it. You Rat. could check it out on Bold on Facebook. Are you Canadian? No, but I get that a lot. Check it out. He said, Ooh. check it out. Check, check it out. out. Rat, do you ever question your decision to quit the uh, uh, the, the uh, Compound Media Network? Not once. Why? You're here all the time for free. He doesn't like the political. Uh, Nazism. Yes. Nazism. Oh. Being a Jew, you know, oh, there they are. Who's the chick? Carrie Sheffield. She's on Fox all the you time. You want to introduce ourselves? Oh, yeah. oh, that's crazy. That's, that's crazy. Oh, he's, oh, he's telling them. Rats in there panicking. He's like, don't show this. Why don't you say, don't um, show this. Oh, man. Oh, cut, cut it off. Can cut we it off. out that green screen and put something fun in there? <laughs> oh, look at him. He's getting nervous. <laughs> <laughs> look at Rat getting nervous. This oh is why I God. quit this place. Rat, comment one of these. Oh, look. Oh, look. She's using my props. Uh-oh. Oh, no. She knew what those smelled like. <laughs> <laughs> Should I say that, though? Because I don't really want to say that. She's pretty because... cute. If she uses yeah. your props, I feel like you can use their green screen footage to put your own background. Right. Do you think they should put a different background in? I think so. Oh, my. They just can't. To, just a test. Can they do it from here? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, of course they can. <laughs> yeah, just to see what might like fit back What there. could happen? We're just demonstrating how uh, convenient the green screen is. This is a good green because screen. Because we can just put whatever background, and, and regardless of new shows that come in, it right. could always look like their own unique thing. Look. Right. Look, I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm the inventor of my pillow. I'm here. Oh, I hate Mike Lindell. <laughs> my pillow. I oh, I t- two years to invent it because I first started putting concrete in, and it was very hard. <laughs> two years later, I decided soft stuff in the middle made a great pillow. <laughs> Even when you buy my pillow, it's your pillow when you buy it, but it's still considered my pillow. I stayed here in my home state of Minnesota, home of uh, Jesse Ventura, 
me, my pillow, and Indian massacres. <laughs> what did the Sleep Association think of my pillow? The sleep Association loves my pillow <laughs> because I'm the guy that made the Sleep Association. <laughs> <laughs> you get how that fucking works, morons? <laughs> Buy my pillow. It's unique. It's two hundred dollars, but it's soft on the inside. That was the trick. It took me ten years to figure it out. I was putting a stuffing on the outside and a pillowcase on the inside. You wake up with it all over your face. Ten years later, I figured out. Put the soft stuff inside the pillow. My pillow. Kind of sounds like scorch. It does. It's a little scorch, a little Jesse Ventura, but it's that whole uh, what they Minnesota gonna, thing. What are they going to come come up with next? Shirts that you don't have to tuck in. No. <laughs> I mean. <gasps> <laughs> yes, my ah, oh, fuck, fuck yeah, <laughs> fuck yeah. Oh, Chip, you like it? <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Where are we, Chip? Let's... I can save you, my children. <laughs> no, you can't, you piece of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, it's hot down here, ain't it? You like you like being in hell, Chip? Fuck yeah. Oh boy, it's rocking, devilish. Chip, why do you like it down here so much? Because it's fucking hot and the devil's here. You got music? Oh, cool. sound, maybe a soundtrack for that? Uh, for hell? Let's hear it. <laughs> That's it. That's not a soundtrack. You're, he he you're in hell, I guess. Is Chip saying music's so hard? Oh, music's so heavy, only the devil can lift it. That's so oh, cool. Oh, God. That's so cool. Watch Scorch's promo again. Yeah. That's like Holy uh, shit. It's like getting uh, killed <laughs> softly by Pekka's, right? Oh, oh, yeah, killing me softly with his Pekka. Oh. <laughs> oh, there was another one with Pekka's, too. Yeah. Oh, really? I, I that's, guess, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow, that's cool. You can do it with the green screen. Yeah, rat, and rats, and in the, and rats in there yelling at your guys, being like, don't fucking bring up that green screen footage of Clay Aiken again. Why not? Don't you do it. I got no place else to go. This is why I quit this fucking place. I got Clay Aiken. That's all I got. <laughs> this is fun, man. Yeah, you yeah. fucking... Yeah. Oh, do you know... But Jim's already impossible to do the show with because of a soundboard. Now he's going to want green screen. Do you have any idea how impossible... It would, he would be asking for the background oh. to be changed throughout the show. <laughs> sure I would. Every show. Yeah. Fresh. Every sh or during the show. Of course, yeah. during the show, yeah. I guess. So what yeah. are you talking about? What, what's the break about, you know? Hey, if we're going to be talking about Trump, why don't we just show him back there? I can go, look at this guy. He should fire himself. You know, some Ah, sort of that'd line. be great. Sure. That would be fucking perfect. And the way God make fun of the hair. What's he got? A bunch of birds up there, you know. Uh, remember when that was the goofiest thing about Trump that everyone yeah. made a joke about? The hair. hair? Yes. Now it's so far at the bottom he of the list. He's now. Yeah. He grabs pussy. Now there's rumors that he actually cut off Kunta Kinte's foot. <laughs> <laughs> the Trump is in bad shape. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, that was a big joke. No yeah. one cares about his hair anymore. No, no one cares about his goofy yeah. hair. Like, oh, man, look at the hair on Donald Trump. Did you hear he sexually harasses women and grabs oh. them by the pussy? Do you honestly think he was saying that? Or was he saying, when you go to these <clears throat> places, yeah, he was being I'm fucking rich, I'm famous. You go to these places, you could grab girls by the pussy. Not that you would, right. but it's like... They are throwing themselves at you. You could literally grab their pussies. Here's, right. That's what he meant. Of course. He wasn't saying, I go in and grab girls by the pussy. Well, that's like I, the, point, the, raise, the point that I've raised um, in my stage performance. Oh. Oof. Is that we all... The evening with Jimmy Norton? Yes, at Carnegie. Is that, you know, when your, fr your friends <laughs> get dealt with? <laughs> yes, I wish it was on the fifth floor. Do you remember oh, what happened? <laughs> well, remember what happened there. It's a little massacre. Yeah. But when someone said, I want to fuck her brains out... We never accuse a guy of wanting to kill a woman. We understand what that means. It's just shit talking. Yeah, yeah. He was the shit talking. The problem is, though, he said, like, I don't even wait. Sometimes I just kiss him. And then, like, all these women came forward and were like, yeah, he force kissed me. He was eating tick attacks. <laughs> that also, like, and, and who's to say he doesn't go to these fucking parties and shit and hasn't for years where girls are there for the specific purpose of trying to bag a Donald Trump sure. or another rich guy. They present these women like they're saints. They're there to and get they're kissed. in those little black dresses throwing their fucking pussies at, at his hand. Right. And and throwing I, their pussies. I know a guy who was at one of his parties. Uh, oh. A head injury. Are you telling tales out of school? No, I was oh, not. We had a head injury. Yes, that's true. And they asked him how it was. And he said, uh, great party, isn't it? <laughs> it's a long way to go. <laughs> yeah. Why well, is there a man upstairs blowing a man in a bear suit, a piggy suit, mask, whatever? I don't fucking know. Yeah. Uh, you're, 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 yeah. I don't like a woman who's too fat to fit out the tiny window to get down to the snow cat. <laughs>
<laughs> Gonna find a little surprise. <laughs> Where's my African American? Oh, look at Scott Man Brothers. <laughs> a cook. <laughs> uh, yeah, um. Oh, my God. <laughs> gentlemen, I must thank you so much for. for oh, we're no today. gentlemen. Ah. Uh, the, uh, of course, the uh, Jim Norton and Sam Roberts show. It's actually Kobe. just called Jim Norton and Sam Roberts. Jim no Norton theory. and Sam Roberts. It's so difficult. It's not. It's just Jim yeah. Norton and Sam Roberts. Jim Norton and Sam Roberts. It's not even a show. I don't know what it is. It's, uh, it's Sam just Roberts. Jim Norton and Sam Roberts. Yeah. Yeah. Their program can be heard on Sirius XM Satellite Channel 206 and 103. That's what it's called. 206 XM 103. Should have been here. Jim Norton is going to be at Helium Comedy Club. Blowing up. Philadelphia. Ah, oh, that's fucking ah, good. I got you. Stop that. <laughs> it tickle. Oh. Uh, October 27th through 30th. Yeah. That's a uh, couple weeks. A couple of weeks. Not, not this week, but the week after. Right. Oh, get your calendars ready. Philadelphia. Mm, yeah. Uh, Sam Roberts, at Not Sam, just an entertaining uh, Twitter. I must say. Oh. You think so? Yeah, you stay no. out of trouble, though. Yeah, I don't... I want to change that. You think I got to start to... some heat. Yeah, you got to be a bad boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Travis Teft. At Travis Teft. And it's the two Fs. Yeah. Two. In Teft. This is his character's Twitter. Yeah. 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 Uh, check out... Uh, I don't... I, do I... Ever, I only see you tweet Seinfeld references yeah. after somebody brings up something. Seinfeld, Seinfeld or Pearl Jam. Sign for, or, or Pearl Jam. You yeah. can't get up in yeah, there. Yeah, we're not like, done yet. Visual. I guess yeah, they, they were snubbed, right? <clears throat> no. Former Pearl Jam drummer Dave Abruzzo responds to Rock and Roll Hall of Fame snub. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what? He's being left out of the band's Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? I've had five drummers. And this year, the Rock Hall is being up front with who will be in if they get inducted. Uh-huh. And only two drummers are going to be inducted. Why? The original drummer and Matt Cameron, who's been with them forever. What was this guy involved in in Pearl Jam? A couple records. Jeremy? Some songs. Uh, Jeremy? Even Flow? No, no. If, if he was Even Flow, he got to be in. He's got to be in, dude. If he did Even Flow, he's there. But he didn't. Was he part of this song? That one? That sounds like a lot of this song. No, not that one. The first one, though. The first one. yeah. You ever hear Jeremy? No. Who? What about that one? <laughs> that one? Yeah. You pretend that you're Eddie Vedder? You do. No. Yes, he does. <laughs> Not you. He sings in the mirror with a dildo in his hand oh. pretending. Hefty <laughs> Vedder. Hefty Vedder. Vedder. That's going to show up on Twitter tonight. <laughs> Uh, Eddie Tefter. Well, they both work. Yeah, they did work. I think Tefty Vetter is better. <laughs> Tefty Vetter, Eddie Tefter. Uh, yeah, either one works. Oh, great. Photos are being taken for the victim file. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was taking a picture. Uh, Troy Kwan. Troy Kwan <laughs> is, uh, of course, Troy Kwan. At Troy Kwan. You still DJing and shit? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, fucking them hoes, too, right? Get them on there for all your <laughs> DJ needs. And fucking them hoes. <laughs> yeah. You got them. And Adrian, Adrian Fernandez, Fernandez, what are you, Hispanic? That's right. Nice, proud, too. He goes, that's right. He's half Cuban. It's not even really. (laughs) Is that really it? Cuban? Cuban isn't even really Spanish. It's not. It's not like Puerto Rican Spanish. Anything like that. And it's at Radio Adrian 1. Terrible Twitter name. (laughs) (laughs) I love how Sam just likes terrible Twitter name. He knows it is, though. He just discounts you. How about Adrian, not Rocky's Adrian? That'd be good. Why? Why don't you do that? Yeah. <laughs> what about the other oh, guy? That's good. And, of course, Bobo. Do you know Bobo? I, I remember. I, I, the guy, who, he looks familiar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the donuts on the sidewalk. Wow. I'm Bobo. 
<laughs> Sorry about that, Bobo. What are you going to do, right? Not a radio stunt. That was oh, that's, that really, that's they the really flew out the Your window. hatred. That was expensive. It, Something it, tells it me. Spent $8. It was, you oh. didn't spend $8. You didn't spend $8. All of a sudden, oh, it, it went it, up a dollar? It, it was over 7 No, you said 7 bro. Yeah. About seven forty-five. I got the receipts still here. Well, we round down here. And by the way, 745 is round down. Yeah, you would seven. Yes. Over 50. seven. Yeah. We round down here to hit the seven, common denominator. Seven yes. $7 works. I bet Keith has thrown a perp or two out a window like that. <laughs> he was just angry. It made a noise. It fucking right out. Absolutely. This weird. Shut the window. Yeah. Probably weird for him not throwing a chocolate one out. <laughs> Oh, my God. What a fun having you guys here. Thank you. This uh, was Jack. great. If, I, if I'm ever, with, with the way things are going, the love, the joy, the yes. togetherness, the bridge building, I can see in time being allowed maybe into your studio. That's our goal. To do your show. That's our goal. To sit in the seat and do your show without any uh, issues or problems. That's our goal. I would love that. It, it, it would be my goal, too. Yes. Yeah. We've, That'd be good. We've talked to management. Yes, we Ooh. have. Yeah. Yes, we yeah, have. I'm heels all wounds. Absolutely. And the original response of go fuck your mothers, <laughs> not necessarily <laughs> the one that's going to stay. Time heals all wounds except and for those sores that AIDS gives you. Yeah, that doesn't heal those yeah, at all. Those not at all. Little, time will just make them worse. Make some worse little dirt thrown on you and it's all said <laughs> and done. Also, some of your uh, uh, inside serious gossip sources... Some of them are good, and some of them are dog shit. It's terrible. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> it's how everything is, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have some sources. Some are good. Right. Some are good. Some are not. There were some things you said, wait, how the fuck did he know that? And then other things where it was like, that's not even sort of true. <laughs> Maybe I just throw those in to throw you off. Maybe. Ah. Maybe. But it's all, there's no need for espionage anymore. <laughs> need. We're all one big happy family. Again. Absolutely, you're right. This is great. That's true. It's kind of threatening, though. But should we not be a happy family, the <laughs> espionage, espionage will return. Yes. Yeah. Spies. Spies. Spies like us, that was good. Even a... Oh, there's Pat Dixon here a little early for the show. Very cool. We'll be here back at 9 o'clock. Uh, go grab something to eat um, so you can get Ajita during the... Uh, there he is. Look at that surveillance camera. And then a man came in. And raped a young child. <laughs> uh, what do you say? Oh, there's uh, Hillary. Is that uh, her getting? Oh yeah, she's strutting off on the her way, uh, on her way to the airport. Now I just watch her walking up and down <laughs> stairs, and you're like, "Come on, fucking fall! Come on!" Waiting for, for her to fall. I want her fucking ass over tea kettle, as they say, <laughs> right down the fucking stairs. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like her. I can't stand the woman. She is a General, lion you mean. satchel of shit. <laughs> <laughs> the woman. <laughs> no, she's just a lion sack. <clears throat> and, you know, they say, well, Trump lies, too. Yeah, businessman lies. That's what they do. He hasn't fucking... Hey, hey why, don't you, why don't you save it for 9 p.m.? Huh? But yeah, well, exactly. hey. I'll have plenty to say then, too, mister. <laughs> I'm blowing the election you know, one now. A public servant. She, her, she's a public servant. She's working for the American people. Had a girl. Wonderful. Yeah. Over a hundred million dollars she's made. She is a great public servant. Sounds Fuck successful. Yeah, she's it's never. Awesome. Su- it's not supposed to happen that way. She helped us out. Thank you. I Lori. left the Thank White you. House Thank broke. You. We're with her. Thank you. We are with her. Thank <laughs> oh, you, Hillary. And by that we mean Travis. <laughs> yeah. oh. With her. I'm a girl. <laughs> yeah, you are. All righty. We'll uh, we'll see you back here at nine with uh, everybody. And uh, I won't be here. Have a great. See uh, <laughs> everybody. I'm not going to be here. Jimmy will not be here. Uh, I don't suppose Sam I'm or staying, no. Travis. No, 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 no I'm going home either. They be. have things to do. I'm going to use this greenest screen though. They have a wife. How's the marriage and stuff? I'm not good? married. Very good. Yeah, I'm married. I heard rumors about that years ago too. Yeah, of a couple course. of years back. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, it was on the rocks. I was, oh, what? I was ready to swoop in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sam wouldn't like you. Love your wife. <laughs> oh, you mean her wife? <laughs> so cute. Yeah. No, she's uh, adorable and doing yeah. Yeah. well and happy about the new schedule. And I'm very glad. Actually, listens to the new shows. So. Oh, that's a little dangerous though. Watch what you say. Hey. Hey. And uh, Travis Teft, of course, uh, you. I see you, you. You two praise each other on Who? Facebook. You and your wife. Ah. It's like, oh, and for how many years you've been married? Nine. Nine years. 
And, and it's like, the greatest nine years of my life. And then there's pictures of him and his wife and child at Disney, and they're having fun. And yeah, we like Disney. Themselves. It was like Disney. <laughs> you like Disney? <laughs> love it. You do? Best. Oh, yeah, they love Disney. Do you eat healthy when you're down there? No. <laughs> no. No. What do you have? What have food? <laughs> yeah, do you eat healthy when you're not down there? No. I would have had six of those donuts if they didn't go out the window. Oh, yeah, they really... What happened to those donuts? Bobo, you got any donuts? <laughs> Where are those donuts, Bobo? Why don't you go buy some more, you fucking skin flint? Five dollars. He spent five dollars on those things. That sucks. Bobo's got good technique. Five dollars worth of donuts? He literally has the microphone behind his head. <laughs> <laughs> I was seven dollars worth the of donuts. Bat. I wish this was the end of Scarfish. <laughs> <laughs> that was seven dollars. I'm... <clears throat> What's that? That was seven dollars worth of donuts. Oh, cool! Good trivia. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How much? At five for the bucks donuts? round trip fr- from where I live to here and back. Okay. How so about tomorrow? Five dollars two ways. For both ways, total. $5. Tomorrow on the morning show, we should do trivia about the appearance. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. On the Anthony Kumi show. Yeah. All right, Bobo. Well, thank you for the, the, the thought that counts. No, it's the donuts. We didn't get donuts them. Donuts on the street yeah, is the reality, but it's the thought that counts. I'm hungry. I am reality. <laughs> you want reality? I'll put your donuts on a fucking sidewalk. That's reality. Yeah. All right, everybody. We'll see you later. Uh, Sim Celebim, Alvita Zane, Bon Voyage. Thank you very much. Take it easy. Thank you. Of course. Always. Oh,